five on a three vehicle to GP nine twelve. Hell, seventy Roger one eight. Tell me, code six on Colorado and Sierra Villa Drive on a three vehicle to GP nine twelve. Code six five zero three one or D seven seven three. Tell me, code six on Colorado and Sierra Villa Drive on a three vehicle to GP nine twelve. Roger, What's up, everyone? What's up, Neil? Ashley Johnson. 2041 is street closure on 5th Street from Broadway. Where is it in? What's up, everyone? It's uh, what's today's date? It's on the perimeter. We're going to break it down. You could, uh, December 5th, 2023, 11.08 p.m. We are entering Hollywood, California. We're going to do a short. A short stream tonight, probably. Probably go like three hours, four hours max. We'll see what we run into. Park. Suspect GLA. Messages. Ethan A seventeen, Joe, Frank Heath and Sarah. Yeah, so like three, four, four, Roger, one L two thirty, one L two thirty, cancer response to incident four nine seven four. What's up everyone? Big Mo. Roger, thank you. Maddie Cocaine. Aaron, Aaron Fox, Nevada, male Hispanic, 84 years, gray and black. Jimmy Menke, with the DOBF 1939 at medium though, being a complexed last name. Julie M, is it Julie M? Julie B out there in the world? Orange, a black and white beanie. Bunch of Julies. Gray flannel and black faded jeans. So just diagnosed with dementia. Any information contact DSVB incident 46. All right, man. Right now it's a. Uh, I'm listing a bunch of stuff on eBay. That's how I make money. And right now it's the Christmas. Last chance to make money before Christmas. So that's what I've been doing. It's just listing stuff and packaging stuff up. So I'm probably not going to be out too much in the next probably two weeks. I'll be out, but not probably as much. Okay, Roger. And we have the RT three, no one. And expanded in Monrovia. Okay, we're gonna get a traffic stop license plate seven, Mary William Adam Monrovia. five nine. Dude, you act like I was gone for like two months right, or something, dude. Five, zero, five, When's the last stream I did? Friday? Seven. Friday? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days? So today, Tuesday? I had a total of three days off, bro. Warren 2032 Dodge Four Door. Haley the net for West Boston. A man can't get three days off? Fair twenty seven sixteen South Main Street and seven five zero five six. Dude, I never knew that this was the Deaf Noodles Comedy Club right here. I've heard that name forever, Deaf Noodles Comedy Club, but it's it's right there on that corner right there to the right. Their sign sucks, dude. It looks like my logo. <laughs> like, they just picked the, the easiest uh, font to read and just put it on a red background. Need to run 
He's still on eBay. It's been busy. Well, yeah, this is like the little push where it gets busy, so. Hey, North Vermont at the Vermont and Santa Monica station. Some sort of a female wearing a red dress covered in a blue blanket inside the mezzanine level. Elevator number one, code 2750 What uh, percentage does eBay Here's take? Uh, for most stuff, they it's almost like fifteen percent. It depends. It's usually between ten and and fifteen, sixteen percent. <laughs> Certain stuff that they want you to sell in there, they they charge less. Certain things more expensive. But then to sell, you really have to like offer free shipping. And I think they the charge you on the shipping too. They charge you a percentage on the shipping too. So really, I just I calculate like twenty percent going to the eBay fees. So anything I look to buy to resell, I'm, I'm calculating the, what's going to cost to ship and twenty percent to eBay and the boxes and packaging costs and all that shit so I just put 20% it's hard to make money dude because a, lo a lot of people like buy stuff and they're like well I bought it for 10 bucks and I sold it for 40 or whatever but then if you offer free shipping and the box and everything if it's a first class package it's going to be like well, say it's gonna be it's like six dollars and fifty cents to ship something now and a box I right, say that box is another dollar fifty two you're like on nine bucks just in the shipping things and then eBay is gonna take say they take fifteen percent there's not much money left So if anyone wants to sell sell on eBay, I recommend either you sell the same thing or you only have like a couple of products where you don't make that much profit, but it's easy for you to store, hold, and then just ship and you just sell a shitload of them because then you just have to list the thing like one time and it just keeps reselling and reselling. You don't have to take the pictures of it, have to put in a new description for every single little thing. Either you do it that way or you do like more expensive stuff. Like you gotta take the risk and buy expensive stuff that you think you could resell that's gonna be worth. Because one, it's not gonna take up a lot of space, right? Like if you have a bunch of little things, you have to organize everything, take up space. So it should be like a things that are worth it. Things that you think are gonna resell for like a hundred dollars and above. And I've met dudes that really make money. They're the dudes that go and they buy like they'll buy antiques, they'll buy they'll buy stuff that's like that they buy for like a thousand, fifteen hundred, and then they'll resell for like thirty five hundred or whatever, even if they sell it for sixteen hundred, two thousand. Their profits are six hundred bucks and up, you know, per item. And if you sell a bunch of things that are not really worth much, it takes too much to list. Take the pictures, list, and package each one. Get a different size box for each one. All that crap. Anyways, that's my eBay advice. If you want to do it like full time or to really make money, but if you're just trying to sell, make a little money here and there. Go look for stuff. It's worth. See what it's selling for. And then list it.
Yeah. It just takes a while to, to sell stuff. For example. This is for P101, this is a P101 conversation. Uh, unit logged in as NEV, Nora Edward David, on duty or in the watch? He's still not either in the watch. Do you show anybody else besides three and five logged on? That's all my bosses. High school? The school? I mean yearbook. Hey, old yearbook, old yearbooks resell. They take a while, but they do resell. Dude, I sold some old yearbooks back in the days that I regret selling. It was like Inglewood High School, 1905 or something. Bro. I regret selling those because I should have held on to them. But I had them, and I was like, dude, whatever. I sold them for like a hundred something bucks, and I was like, that's a lot of money. It's just gonna sit here in the shelf. Let me sell it. Whatever. I, I bought a bunch of stuff. I was like, dude, I bought. I paid like two dollars for it. I'm gonna get 150 out of it. Sold. But I regret selling it because it's just so old. And look, how many of those are left? Um, and just like the when you go through, it's like Inglewood High School, and you go through the books, and it's all white kids. There's farm Inglewood. The ads in Inglewood. Like the ads in the back of the yearbook. It's just interesting history, you know. The PR is in the waiting area for the station. Correction is in the waiting area at the station for the train to follow the suspect. So at this point of time, oh. transit will handle the code two. This guy's dodge broke down. 105050 is code two and RD 397. Photocopy stuff. Man, 427 yeah. Vermont Avenue at the DNA Liquor. It's number 4907 and RD397. You just have identified. If you're just selling stuff, you know, if you're selling clothes and stuff, Mercari is a good platform. I started listing stuff on Mercari and it's. I like it better than eBay, to be honest. I think it's SD for a small brush fire in the wash. There's a suspect who just lit the fire down there. Van Nuys. Small brush fire in Van Nuys. And they're running. 906, person 950, code 6 Van Nuys, north of Valerio. The suspect running northbound on the Van Nuys. Right around the FD. I might have to do, go to this Van Nuys of Valerio. Arsonist, what is this? Anyone in B41. Anyone in B41. So the valley. 44 suspect 6 the Broadway at Pershing Square Red Line Station in the waiting area. Van Nuys and Valerio. Valerio. I think that's pretty deep into the valley though. Hey, 313 about the car, you can't find them. 304 e confirm you're clear. Oh yeah, it is deep, man. 18 minutes. Go through into the 1587, RD 1906. Seven, we can actually pull you in at seven. We can give you a little bit of 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 a little bit Small brush fire, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Let me check if it came out of the fire department. We have D Valley. Yeah, right. I'm gonna park over here by the freeway entrance. Out, freeway entrance, just in case they say that the fire is getting bigger. It's. It's 18 minutes away. It's kind of too far to go for a brush fire. But it's interesting that this 
they got the guy that they're fucking that said it. So. As to uh, Eric Ernesto Morales Gomez. I don't think there's a no way. No way I can get there in time to catch them catching the fucking arsonist. Fifty seventy six thirty six thirty eight. Oh yeah, so Mercari added. Uh, they added UPS. Uh, UPS sure post. Show want to follow up at scene. Holy Cross Hospital. They added a UPS shirt post, which is cheaper than UPS. So there's a cheap shipping now. They also added like local pickup. Hey, Macari's cool though. Vine and Selma. One The U. It takes longer that UPS shirt post, but like say ground is like thirteen bucks. It'll give you the option of the UPS shirt post is like seven ninety nine, so pretty much you can ship anything under like six pounds for like seven ninety nine now. On Mercari, they also do the local pickup thing, and then they also do a, a local delivery. You know what they what they use? I sold one thing through that. It's fifteen ninety nine flat rate to like I guess it goes by your address. So anyone that's shopping from like LA, your item will pop up and it'll offer them, hey, do you want this shipped? As long as it fits in the car, $15.99 flat rate. And they have a contract with Uber and an Uber driver comes and picks up your package and then they deliver it usually the same day, which is pretty cool. And it's only $15.99 flat rate for the customer. So that's cool if you're selling something like you know, appliance, a small appliance or something. I wish they did it for bikes. You like shopping on eBay but don't like PayPal? They don't even use PayPal anymore. So eBay is uh, they they broke up with PayPal. You can use it, but now it's it's like everything else. You can use credit card, PayPal, anything really. Thirty nine repeat. They started processing their own money. Before you were forced to use PayPal, and all the money would go into a PayPal account. eBay's done a lot of bad shit. Right, Their customer service isn't good either. It's like too complicated. You can name one, Roger. Are you close six? Chapter 36, traffic stop, Hollywood and McCadden. Nine, Henry, Tom, Victor, 118. Anyways, that's enough about that. Ah, there's just so many different places to sell. But... Five hours. I don't know. I like my car because it's simple. It's easy. Uh, it's kind of like early eBay. They, it's very easy and simple to use, simple to list stuff. It's like super easy. So if you're selling like clothes and stuff, Mercari is good. Electron, it's good for everything. eBay is good for like rare stuff, you know, like vintage, antiques. Different things like that. And obviously, it's a bigger audience. More people know about eBay than that. Shopping team from 18897, 18997, ADW suspect there now. Also, the fees are lower, Mercari. 118th Street, 122 West, 118th Street. 4th Yeah, they're pulling everybody hey, over. Alright, 
What happened? All rolls to Michael Six. Hey, location. Let's go see what this is. Van Ness and Melrose. Melrose, Hello, Unit Welfare Check. 8136 on my road. Two PR and white Nissan. Let's go towards over there. I don't think nothing's going to happen with this brush fire. What's up, Ray K? Sadie, what's up? Billy B. Rogelio Rodriguez, you saw auto parts were on eBay or? Yeah, that's probably better on eBay. Uh, auto parts are probably better, what, Craigslist or something local? Although Mercari says they they brought out that local stuff too. But I don't know, Offer Up is the worst. Offer Up is okay. But it's literally called offer up. So like whatever you put, you're like, hey, 50 bucks, man. I need to get rid of this. It's like, would you take seven bucks? Offer up has the worst customers, dude. I think half of them are just people that buy on offer up and sell relisted on eBay. No matter what I put up there, it's like 100 bucks, huh? Uh, would you take eight bucks in a fucking fruit roll up? Almeida. License status is valid. No want, no one and safety. What a Christmas tree. Jump in the Capitol Records building. Okay, 162 Wilcox Avenue. That's the Kennedy Housing Pacific Mail Insurance 25 years by shirt, gray sweats. Hang himself at Insta Law on the table. Code 3 is now 515 RDC 46. I would get a Because I've had my identity stolen several times. Amen. A lot of people want to be you, bro. Have a good night, Damn, they're pulling over a lot of people in Hollywood today. Is this a cop car too? Alright, we're going to that right now. Do we we'll just pass it? Uh, the cops are in high gear tonight, dude. There's a lot of cops out here pulling people over. wonder what's happening. We're gonna go to this Wilcox call here. 622 Wilcox. 1622 Wilcox Avenue. 1622. That's where we're going. Hello, Roger B. 6815 1622 Wilcox Avenue for a violent male with mental illness. Oh, not a violent male with mental illness. It says 1622, right? It's right here to the right. 648 East 84th Street, code 2050, 1970, unit. Available to handle, time dot, code 259, 30, 30, unit. Hey, sir. Hey, sir, are you a violent male? Mental illness? It's right One here. One moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. Could you please Gosh. say that again? I'm not talking to you, Siri. Sorry. Is this dude right here, I think. Oh, no. Six has indicated very location. Maybe once more, William John Charles, zero to eight. 
95 is code six Charles 1533 9 Tyler this guy is just a stoner. He looks high as shit. I guess the cops are already here. It's maybe inside of a business. The cops are here. See the cops, their cars here. It's not in that parking lot. Dude, I just realized Dusty Rhodes, the wrestler, was named after Dusty Dirt Rhodes. <laughs> Dude, how did I never think about that in fucking 40 years? Dusty Rhodes. I thought his name was really like Dusty Rhodes. Well, it is, but it's a made up name. Possibly between Hobart and King Jr. near the 997 store suspect and all that. Or his parents are, are just cool. Dusty Roads? It was going to be Muddy Roads, but actually, Muddy's a cool name. I'm going to name my son Muddy. Where is this? 06 103 in Wilmington, on a PC not involved, on the 7th. Charles, John, Nora, 168, and 8, Mary, Union, Paul, 563. Dusty Rhodes. Take me home. To the place. I belong. Oh, is it this guy right here? I don't know. I don't see the cops, dude. Half the fucking people on the streets are violent males. Yeah, they're now 1448 Phil Avenue. I'm gonna stick around here for a little bit. Here's backup. We'll see where these cops go to. I wonder if they're gonna stop and they just kept going. I didn't know that place is called the Ho the Hotel Mark Twain. Well, they're pulling everybody over in Hollywood tonight. Something must have happened in Hollywood. Recently. When they start pulling people over a lot. Alright, here goes more cops in a Crown Vic. Last time they did that was like after there was a few shootings around here. 49489, Do you guys know if there was a shooting in the last couple days around Hollywood Boulevard? Clear from Taiwan and Raymond. Find you at the Vest of Violence, 8254 Avenue, Scope 5111 or D456.
After this is right there in that parking lot. Maybe it's the next parking lot. 1343, 1343, are you clear? Oh yeah, they caught the homeless shooter. Yeah, bro, it was that, it was the same guy that robbed those people in San Dimas, which was crazy. Because I remember when I seen the car, I was like, dude, I know, I fucking think I've seen that car somewhere. Right? I'm like, dude, did I go to a car and I seen that car? I, I know I seen that car somewhere. It was like a gray, because it was that color I hate, dude. It's like that opaque gray whatever dude i think it was a bmw but it was opaque gray and i was like dude i know i seen that somewhere recently it's like dude i wonder if i've seen him at one of these scenes or something and then they said it was the same dude where i seen the car was in the news report he had robbed uh, someone in san dimas in a neighborhood and he killed the person so after he did that then he went on the homeless killing spree so I think I remember seeing that, that a car like that in the news story saying they were looking for one of those cars. Yes, today and yesterday shooting in Hollywood. Thank you, Lynn. Okay. That's why they're out here. Because the cops are pulling everybody over. Kevin A. Hidalgo. 2300 East of Century Boulevard, apartment 103. They're on high alert. And that's what happens every time there, there's like a shooting around here. They they go all out. Maybe. I guess just to let everybody know that they're out doing shit. Don't come trying to do shit. Then I'm to do a little push, Evan. But usually LAPD's not... They're not like, they're not tripping if they're, uh, you know, people's like license plate light is out or certain little driving things. They'll run the plate and if there's like no warrants or nothing, they're just, they don't even pull people over at them. But when they're really on high alert, then they do. They're not passing up any fucking opportunity to not pull people over. 31 FB 30 North Hollywood Run Line. Your license plate's out, your whatever, dude. Your third brake light is out. You got a pine tree blocking your view from the mirror. 329 Vermont Avenue, see the pier at the coin laundry parking lot, it's at 5050, it's quote 2 and RV 397. Apparently, who got his fortune? Huh? He got his fortune from an incident involving police department. Who did? I a message about when I found out about it. I got arrested so quickly after. Yeah. I think I rem remember that message. Search for your watch, can I? Yeah, it was the same. It was the same guy that he killed somebody in a robbery. Oh, here comes the cops. Hi, Regina. I'm in trouble. I'm in Charlotte. I'm in Charlotte. Mail request, please. Copy answer 5147. RD 453. Hey, this three and say a 4908. RD 1269. I think the cops got. They're done with the mail with mental illness call here. Yeah, they caught the serial killer, but before he went on the killing spree, I think just a few days before, someone got killed. 99% sure it was in San Dimas, which is where Raging Waters is. Over by like Pomona, right? Suburb of LA East. 
I remember it was like a Filipino family, and the guy was the guy that died was like, damn, who did he work for? He was like a tech guy, like an IT guy or something for Beverly Hills. I think he might have. I think he might have worked for Beverly Hills Police Department, and like some type of tech thing. Yeah, and there was like some type of robbery. I'm not sure if it was a home invasion or just a regular robbery. But he, um, he killed someone there, that guy, the Filipino kid. And it was a separate crime. And then a couple of days after, it was when they started saying like, "Hey, there's this guy shooting these homeless people, killing these homeless people on a rampage." So when I, they first showed the story in the San Dimas, I seen that car and I was like, dude, that shit, right? I had seen the car. They said, hey, we're looking for this car. Might be tied to the, um, the Hold on, let me look this up. second. West Second Street. Yeah, but I I didn't think it was tied to that shit at all. I mean, what? It was the same guy, bro. So he was probably already. I don't know what he was on, dude. And he had money, right? He was driving an expensive ass car. A lot of thieves. Have an expensive car, dude. You should have seen how many people were looting during the looting. And nice ass cars, bro. Seven series BMWs, bro. Two thousand, whatever. Two thousand twenty. Seven series Beamer. Packed. With break into Pierre's vehicle. It's code two and three five one four six thirty eighteen twenty six. Semi. Oh yeah, he did follow him home from a charging station. Alright, we're gonna try to get to this accident. It's five miles away. Vehicle versus bicyclist. Radio check. Radio check bottom click. I am facing five, just trying to go three from the center station to one, two, from my station to one, two, two, seven, one, second street. How did a looter get a BMW? Bro, those fucking people in BMWs, Teslas, fucking. 6866, six, 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 unit 526 or 625. There's people in $70,000 cars stealing pants. Bro. It's just some people couldn't resist, bro. Roger. 20 feet, 21, 20 feet, 21. I mean, there was a few times where I was out there where I was like, fuck, man, like, these dudes are walking out of the store with like 10 iPads, 10 laptops. Then you see these dudes with like vans, just stuffing them. You start to do the math and you're like, damn, dude, this Everyone here is taking like ten thousand dollars with this stuff. At least. And when it's just chaos like that, it's like, bro. Everyone knew they weren't gonna how are they gonna prosecute fucking five thousand people or whatever? I think after the fact they got a few dumbass people that started listing stuff on them. Like offer up right away. I think some of them their own family ratted on them, you know? It's like, hey mom, I came home, I got fucking I got a whole car load worth of fucking fur coats. But people just went insane, bro. They were stealing anything, bro. Like I remember.
remember the whole time, bro. The whole time in that shit, that was like you know the craziest shit I've seen. I was just waiting. One, I was waiting to get fucking shot or stabbed by somebody. I was like, Dude, this is gonna be inevitable. Two, I was just waiting for the fires to start, bro. And I didn't say it at the time. I was like, dude, I hope I was going to say it. And then I was like, nah, I don't even, even want to put it into the air. And there was a few, but I was like, dude, if, these, if all these people start burning shit, like the whole city's going to fucking burn down. And there's nothing anybody could have done about it. And the cops, like, they were just out there kicking people out, but they didn't, I don't think they really wanted to get involved. Because one, they were so fucking outnumbered. They're so outnumbered by mobs of people that, like, it's only going to, any confrontation is just going to lead to them fucking having to kill somebody else. caught up in a hard place, bro, like, Did that dude even put his fucking blinker on? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't notice a blinker. I was just driving and then fucking just went into my lane and slowed down. I used to go to Pacific Trail, Florida Canyon, and Hill Informationally. eBay's, oh yeah, someone was saying about selling car parts. I think eBay's okay. Today's 75, right? You just have to sign up for all the shipping services. Um, FedEx is, FedEx is probably the cheapest for heavier, heavier and bigger things. It is. Post office is pretty expensive. If you have sticker shock, FedEx is the cheapest. I think even DHL is cheaper, but they're not connected with eBay, so it's kind of hard to uh, like print a label from your house. FedEx is probably the best for heavy stuff to ship out. Because sometimes I'll get a quote from 
you know, when you weigh the things and you put in the dimension, it'll give you a shipping quotes from like UFD, UPS, or whatever accounts you signed up for. UPS, FedEx, and post, post office. Post office is good for like small things, first class. It's cheaper. <clears throat> but, um, dude, sometimes the post office will want like $80 to ship something, and FedEx will be like 26 bucks. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Two eight, why is this eight hundred? Yeah, it's pretty in pursuit. What? I've been seeing the area in San Francisco, and my world was supposed to be close to white Ford and Honda Accord with the trunk open. Two more black, 24 death, grand death, SF 5166. Pursuit, Hollywood, fuck this shit. Nora 597. Alright, we're going to this. That's what's going to do. I said, uh, 2843 Van Buren, please go to a 757. What'd you say? Death. White Ford Honda Accord with the trunk open. Trunk open. Two more black, 24 death, Grand Death. Grand Death. That's what's going to happen to Tim. My world's supposed to be equal to White Ford Honda Accord with the trunk open. Two more black, 24 death, Grand Death. What'd you say? San Fernando? Yeah, it's pretty in pursuit. That's in the area of San Francisco. Tim. My world's supposed to be equal to White Ford Honda Accord with the trunk open. Two more black, San Vicente and Melrose. San Vicente and Melrose. All right. Let's see. Nora five nine seven. All right, we're going in the right direction here. In pursuit. We're just, we're just, we're just talking about the thieves. There goes some new ones, San Vicente and Melrose. Rolling down Melrose in my shell toes, tapping beautiful women on the elbows. Okay, it's across the way here. Well, I hope they come east. I came out the two west of St. Andrews. Three, 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 repeat. Only the police move at five one seven two. Oh man, pursuit. Hollywood units. And six six ninety nine, ambulance attempts to ascend seven zero seven six Hawthorne Avenue, seven zero seven six Hawthorne Avenue. Unit one zero three, subject is behind by identifying your sighting, medium blood test is on orange dark black curly hair beard. Under the influence of heroin, attempted to light himself on fire, closer than five one seven six eight six forty five. Walking, walking off with a black motorcycle, black on the front, white with blue Pushing the motorcycle on May 5th, 2021st. Information. All right, here's the helicopter. Oh, it's right above us, too, so they might be coming by right now. Please come, come, come. Oh, here, I think they're coming. They're coming. Fuck. Opposite. Here they come. Suspect vehicle was not in there. Shit. Martinia Street, additional PR call. Why is he accidentally discharged his firearm while cleaning? He's standing behind your police vehicle. Uh -oh. Additional incident 5109. Let's go, buddy. Now, where'd they go? He's subject for alcohol on himself, and the PR attempted to light them. So There's a white Honda? I seen a I seen a white car. Get on the freeway, but that was a white Mercedes. They don't think they're searching for them. Right, give us an update. Fuck, I thought the car was right there. I for sure thought they were behind the car, but the car's. It must be over here somewhere. Alright, where did you go? Only a rate on cooperative Where did you go, PD? We'll figure it out. A jacket. Sweatpants and white and gray shoes took property at the 
station and still on scene monitor for comments. Go to incident 5181 RE139. Where'd they go, man? This is a tricky area. Agree. Right Ellie, PR is Christian Pierce standing next to his gray Honda Civic hatchback. A male wearing a black Dodgers hat, gray hooded sweater. Give me an update. Eight forty-eight. Are you canceling fifty-three or responding with? Oh, here we go. Sirens. Yes, lights. No, three four two thirty one acknowledged. Where's this helicopter at? Let's see if we can find it. Three four two ninety seven. Target to be one one four. Went this way. They could have gone up or straight. And their location for your domestic finance is 2940 and a half Van Buren Place, incident 5174. I say it's tricky right here, dude. This level is okay. This one? Oh, they're on the 101. They're on the 101. Alright, good. How come they haven't updated, dude? Is, it, is this a CHP pursuit? Oh, I see the helicopter up ahead. We're close to downtown. Okay, I gotta jump on the one. Yo, does anybody know if this is a CHP pursuit? It sounded like it was LAPD. Maybe it's a West Hollywood Sheriff? Because we would have heard a bunch of updates by now. Let's see if we can. CHP has something right here. Here's the cops. Pulling over a guy on a bike over here. Different cops. Anyone else pointing from North Hollywood? Alright. Well, I got eyes on the helicopter straight ahead. Are you clear? Helicopter straight ahead. I hate not uh, having the scanner in the way. I think I'm just going to ride the street and see if he got out from the street. Unless we can get to an entrance here to the left somewhere. Uh, the helicopter's not showing up on the app. Motorcycle been located by tenant. A male next to the motorcycle. Let's go to 2105 East Hill from Broadway. Hey, what are you guys listening to though? Sheriff? 5859 verified. Code 6 on 24. Any questions? Go ahead. 3. Calif uh, Ideas Boy, 990 Last name of Adam The helicopter is downtown. Adam Mary, Sam, Northern North. Lincoln Adam, Frank Adam, Young Edward, Tom Tom Edward. Middle name of Oliver. He's still from Broadway, huh? Oh, it's Beverly Hills PD. No wonder. 150 with a view via 0731. Isn't Beverly Hills encrypted? I love your T3 Roger. Transit or, there. Or are you getting some type of text alert? And uh, if the uh, PR is going to be. Or you got it. You got access. I'm going to pull up and roll. Turn to Joe. Turn to your turn, Roger. I have a CHP on the line. Do you know if any of the units on 51 and Normandy called an RO regarding picking up their vehicle? Sure, 30 Roggy, they did. The, the 3 George 24, I have CHP on the line. I guess I got the him. phone call was made to the RO's father. Alright, we got the chopper in sight. What's the location of the. Where he's on the back side of downtown, though. It seems like he's like over by the bridge. Seriously. Yeah, first place. 
But I got them in sight. You guys uh, keep me keep me posted. I'd rather just do it this way than try to fucking find the uh, frequency. Right. As long as I got visual on the helicopter right here. First in Soto. Roger. He's right there to the right. In Normandy. You see behind uh, City Hall. Seventeen X seven, traffic south Roscoe, white oak. Repeat the left click. Five zero six two. There's no four zero six two. From the boots for left, boots for left. Westbound Boston towards Florence. So the vehicle's a black Lexus. License eight Tom David David zero six nine eight Tom David David zero six nine. Suspect for two female black. Threatened. Excuse me, on security. It's code two and five one nine two. Are you twelve thirty three? All right, Roger. All right, see more. It's zero three six as well. See, see more, more cops. Roger. I found three. I got a seven zero for two coming through eastbound on Temple through Maine. Temple in Maine. Alright, so yeah. The Hill City has the first 50 found, 10 plus Oh, damn, it's only on the other one. I see it. I see it, Olympic. And Henry 9, good night. It is being clear from Beverly Hill City for Super 1L230. I see it. Olympic, I see the chopper. We're going to go around. We got to go all the way around downtown. Make sure I got an eye on and then, Alright, once if anything, we'll go back on the 110. Looks like they're turning, they're going back the way I just fucking came from. San Pedro and 8th. South? Fuck, I wanted to get off right there too on 4th. South San Pedro from 8th. I bet you he gets back on the 101 and goes back into Hollywood. Test on suspect 1500 with Pacific Coast Highway. CPR. And 001-1500. South on San Pedro. <laughs> Is that a helicopter? Okay, nice. Nice, we got them straight ahead, two helicopters. I got a six sensor, this shit. 24, this is the EVO. Verify the vehicle was a, two, is a 2013 Toyota Prius 8 Mary Young John 143. I don't need no fucking scanner. Make sure your R is around. Rock, I'm right off. I need some more rice cakes. Exit 219460. Alright, straight ahead. I see helicopters, two of them. Alright. Alright, 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 Harbor unit, officer holding trespass suspect 1500 west, Central Coast Highway, incident 
Code 2, engine 16, RD 513. I heard 5 gunshots. Code 2, engine 22, RD 463. 0 4. Keep me posted, though. 5 1 0 4, thank you. And clear, no transport. Follow up at scene 1124. Helicopter's last seen behind this building right here. Two helicopters and then they're, they're not showing up on the map. Radar. 14 FB 17, 14 FB 17, are you clear? You guys know a good helicopter app? Both of the ones I use, the, the uh, I don't know, sometimes the CHP, the sheriffs, LAPD helicopters, they won't show up. They're not showing up now. 17 L90, 17 L90, All night, you go ahead. Hey, all night, do we have a night watch detective working? 31 FB201, 30 FB201, monitor your cell phone from 30 FB20. Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills. Picking up 31 FB65, meet me on the uh, west side of Union Station by the uh, entrance. 30 FB. We can't get Beverly Hills. Check 94, code 1. North South Valley, east of Shenandoah, north of Cadua. Maybe LA Captain will have a separate thing. 63, Roger. Major incidents. Native D. South on Crenshaw from the 10, okay, that's good. I feel like I should almost go around and take the 110 to the 101. I don't know why the helicopters don't show up on the map, dude. It used to be so fucking, uh... It used to be so accurate. Helicopter would show up there. Oh, I can't listen to Beverly Hills. Uh, how far is they said south south on Crenshaw? Okay. Uh, south on Crenshaw. That's good. We just gotta catch up to these flashing lights. 
Are you ready? What are we waiting for? Everyone knows canceling. Flight tracker 25. Are, are those helicopters on it? Uh, okay, Honda I can see the helicopter again. 6263, 3 calls, right across the river, 15, under the influence of methamphetamine at 390. Incident 44, RD, top 51. I see a chopper up ahead again. Calculation in a runaway juvenile investigation, 4173 2nd Avenue, 104951, RD is 394, A415, woman 861, West 47. I don't know, that chopper's coming back towards us, though. 5065 and RD 396. And a 415 group 4252 Crenshaw Boulevard and 326 and the number 41 is in RT 393. Units now identified. Yeah, I don't know. I want to go towards the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. I see one helicopter over by the 110. Next runway 113, next runway. Once at the ring, our two chins are on 8 10 of Incident 31, RD 13 is running. I don't know if this is the chopper that's on it, man. There you go. Right over downtown. I don't know if you, this is the one chopper that they pulled off of and it's just going back to the base. Do we have a, a number? Or if it's the one that's tracking it. Mm -hmm. Sir, Deputy 303, Kodak, I'm in the Metro for closures. 5CK Traffic Base, Avenue, Avenue, close to 143 and RD 1162. Avenue, suspect female, black, mid 30s, Stan wearing a green sweater, black pants, victim is female, black, mid 30s. No further, possibly related to incident 4981, close to incident 49, RD 628. Oh man, I think we're gonna miss out on this one. Osmo, I'm at King Boy 790. Dude, it literally passed me. It indicates A as an Adam. Roger, we're making contact with somebody. Out of 15 through that last car, that's probably a visit. Information order. 1X38, verify your location. We're going to be on the street, what's the meter? All units close front of close six Charles, 727 on meter, informational. 15 to 1. This is where I was used for a while. 15 of your. Here, calling back from Van Buren, please. Yeah, Any Harbor units, we live into the Curve 2200 South Pacific Avenue, Code 2, Incident 37, Party 567. Thank you. To 28 RD 1532, evidence death investigation 3161 Oakshire Drive, code 2 incident 0030 RD 1599. Oh man. 315 repeat. 717 X7, are you clear? Well, another news, they have opened the skating rink here downtown. Roger. Across from the uh, Staples Center. Three fifteen. She's just bringing the suspect. The skating rink is open. You're right there on clock. Here. All right. You're taking properties. Code two hundred and fifty-six. Are you six sixty-six? Pierce neighbor, male, black, fifties. Heavy set, wearing a white T-shirt, dark pants. Pierce will direct code ten. Hello, 
Additional incident 5186. Sorry, flight to the Roger. Take mentioned as done, no weapons seen. Code 2, incident 58, RD 1787. Both airships left. 31 will take care of that. So they discontinued, huh? 31. Drill set. 4-6 on 917 on plate 8. William Victor Robert 556. Yeah, because Scott's downtown too. 8 Repeat location. Thank you, downtown. I think he's right down the street. 186 and RD 628. So we were in the right area. Oh, what was this? Five five six. I guess they gave up the pursuit for death suspects. Yeah. Why, why? What? Because Peter Pesci just shoot you in twenty seventeen. I What was that? Nineteen seventy. Nineteen thirty nine and a half West Eighty Fourth Street. Put two inside twenty seven thirty twelve sixty five. Having a hard time breathing due to a breathing condition. All right, we just missed out. According to uh, Scott's chat, uh, both helicopters left. I guess they discontinued. No, I think so. Six hundred thirty one feet. I said all the way One four five Yarmouth Avenue in the rear alley to go to incident zero zero five zero RD ten six five. I want South Spring Street. I don't know where suspects were hanging around the apartment complex. Information only on incident fifty seven. No units come four six or three east five four suspect Forty nine. Alright, it's been discontinued. Fire one, you can show code for uh, info on 1612 West to 18th Street. Alright, it is discontinued for sure. 12, <laughs> 18th Street, info only. Dude, I still think that's Ice Spice the Snowman. For Kathleen. Or Marquis Poston, three three two four Holly Park Drive three Inglewood. See. In LA, our graffiti gets into the Christmas Victory spirit. Three, Every day is a new start. I spice the snowman. The snow woman, I guess. South East Inglewood for transport on South East Hundred Thirteenth Street. See the pickup location at White Fort Club Wagon. Scott is calling? Mm, I don't think he is. That's the PR was in route. None of my phones is ringing. Oh, vehicle fire. Stand by the beast. We send another first. Stand by. Vehicle fire. That's one today, 6RD 464. 106 and 107. Uh, 415 transient. 106 and 17. Can I turn around here? Pier 1 meter 1540 industrial. If you watch, pick it. 128 equals 6, 528 South of Broadway. I had a vehicle fire. Well, he's calling the wrong number, dude, because my phone's not ringing. The transit is leaving. 1532, Island South Investigation 3161 Oxford Drive. Code 2 incident 30 RD 1599 before being assigned up to the division identify. Alright, I might try to get to this vehicle fire. 
Yo. Hey. Were you, were you calling? No, right? Oh, so, all right. My bad. I knew it wasn't you. I was like, bro, my phone was not ringing, so. All right. All right, pursuit. Do see you in Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, in the tunnel? Yeah, it's up on the tunnel. That's my favorite one, Kumas. <laughs> it's Kumas. <laughs> no, it's Kumas. No, it's, it's Kumas, it's bro. He's a, I know him. He's French. <laughs> it's not French. It's not French. <laughs> it's no, it's Kumas, bro. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to go to this vehicle fire. I'll see you there, maybe. All right. Later. Later. Fucking liars. Three nine and a half West 84th Street, close to the twenty seven or eight twelve sixty five. I'll never trust you again, dude. Trust has been broken. Mission unit, plus yeah. four from an access now one three two seven eight parkland circle, one three two seven eight parkland circle. You're dead. Incident, to me. Hexagon, code three, incident zero zero seven one or the next one. Correction, 15X86, Roger, 1583, repeat. Go. 2028, verify. Hold 65, 20, south of Broadway. Correction, 523. Correction, Roger. Possible 459, suspect are now 13278 Parkland Circle. The PR stated he has a gun. Is going to harm someone who stated that he was being robbed at the location. 377 10 identify. Roger, Parkland Circle. You're dead to me, dude. Mission unit has additional on the puzzle for an access to the now with your G78 Parkland Circle. You're dead to me. M33 lover. Here is talking to another person in the background telling the person they're going to jail on incident 0071. I don't know if I should go to this vehicle fire. Street, San Francisco. It's four miles away, but it's uh, Roger, thank you. eight minutes. Response. Let's see if it looks like it's active here. Anyhow, thanks for answering. Meet at four eight three. Vehicle fire. One one two four North Chicago. Ten right there, Roger. Anthony, twelve years from back as well. Keep Roger. Nineteen eighty one, good up. Temperature watch five units code alpha upon completion of your calls. Street code two, incident sixty six, RD eighteen forty nine. No. Do I wear the pants? Yeah, it colors, depends. Shirt, depends if I eat a, the wrong Nine thing or if I drink too Pacific much. White House next door. Oh, dude, I just water. I water trees every once in a while. Oh yeah, I have been seeing the Euler tags everywhere. He's back. The PR searching suspects are possibly now at the corner standby for additional 007. Is it the one? I'm gonna try to go to this uh, vehicle fire since there's nothing else going on. We'll be there in seven minutes. Four miles, seven minutes. Yo, my problem is that when I'm doing this, I don't drink much water. Right? Because I don't want to have to use the bathroom. I don't make like a conscious choice about it. I think I just don't. Like, just when I'm thirsty, I'll take a sip. 
But all other times, I'm drinking a, sh a lot of water, a lot of liquids. I eat soup. I drink soups now or eat soups. I mean, I drink smoothies, eat soups. So during the day, dude, I'm going to the bathroom like often. You know what I mean? Like, I got to train my body into like not having to pee so much during the day when I'm not doing this. And then once I come and do this, like, I might go to the bathroom like one time in eight hours. Unless I'm drinking like a 32 ounce or some, night, some nights I just don't. I don't even go to the bathroom during like eight hours. Sometimes it's since I drink all my water like early during the day, dude. I'm going, I don't know, I get them all out of the way early, I guess. don't drink water in a bunch of hours you're, you're gonna be good for like at least half the day and it does make a difference I don't like chug it all at once but I'm already like I don't know dude five minutes into the day I'm already like half half a bottle of water down And then I make a smoothie, and then I, that's why I'm having to use the bathroom in the day, dude, because I, I put like 80 ounces of liquid in me before noon. Hmm. I'm a naked person on meth. Subject is a female, black, white complexion, wearing no clothing, under the influence of meth, threatening to run up on a vehicle, covering in fear in the car boulevard, 4780 Nightrack. From Buckingham and LLK to three, correction, 4328 as body worn. Yes, and Gozi. Oh, we got a stringer here. 6689. Roger, you can send a 6884. 5 Roger. Or you can show me clear. 31 FB30, Roger. 
looks like they put it out. You guys want to check it out? Texas, this is a vehicle is a black Mercedes, no license plate, driving recklessly in the area, hit a barricade, was last seen traveling, southbound from the location, it's information. They put it out. You know what? Let me try out my new, I got a new setup for my can, so it's a perfect place to, perfect place to try it out. Bam. Bam. Open. Okay, open, open. Switch phone. The stabilizer. Check. Put that. Put the phone. Stabilizer. Hold up. It's gonna be worth it when it works. New phone. Bang. Now we're a little bit more stable when I'm walking out of the car. No, raggedy, jittery. Let me see if it works with my camera connect. I was afraid it's gonna tug the phone. Because when your phone's on a stabilizer, it doesn't like to get tugged. Stabilizer is super sensitive. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, you scared the shit out oh, of me. Man, what the hell they do? Dark? Oh, they got a car on fire. Burn a huh? car? Yeah. You think they did it on purpose? Or? I don't know, man. I was fast as fish. And they said, oh, that's all. They said, they out there. No one was in it, huh? Not oh, that's a gas tank in the trunk? Yeah. It's it looks like there, a gas huh? container, huh? Yeah. I wonder if it was an accident or... Yeah. I just seen some guy's car caught on fire in the gas station the other really? day. Like, yeah, like 20 feet away from the pump. Damn. He got lucky, man. Yeah, and that's very dangerous in the gas station. Yeah. You know, that's crazy. Man, what well, is good to People sleep in their car right here, you think? Oh, yeah. I don't know, you know, that's the first time I've seen that car. First time. You know, I know a lot of people from the restaurant, they park over here. Mm -hmm. uh, it could have just been an accident. Mm -hmm. The gas tank was probably just in the trunk, I don't know. Uh, uh -huh. It could have been electrical, electrical with gas back there and it probably lit up. Yeah, it don't add up, yeah. The other day, the guy whose car caught a uh, fire in the gas station was... Um, he said he had changed some fuses out and I guess oh. he didn't know what he was doing and it, oh. the fuse was caught on fire. Yeah. Thank you.
just as I sus suspected. Uh, holding the phone there is not going to be good while connecting the camera. But it is working the other way. So that's good. I'm going to keep you guys nice and stable here. Alright, so we got this car, fire, mm, gas tank in the trunk. Kind of suspicious. Uh, maybe, maybe not. A lot of people keep gas in their tr trunk. Anybody's in there. A vehicle fire, Oxford Street, LA. Looks like it was all in the trunk, so uh, it could have gas fumes and then some type of spark. All right, we're gonna take off. Hey, no, this is como un peso. No, bro, no. ¿Cómo crees? Porque tiene gasolina en el trunk. No. Tiene un tanque de gasolina. ¿Crees que con los fumes se pueden prender con.? No sé. Yo creo que sí. Este carro, este carro no lo veo yo. Cuando ya tiene por uno, unas dos semanas que lo vienen a dejar acá. How does it start? Do you think can it start from like a little uh, spark? When I started, that's what he was asking. But um, if you have any questions, for sure, I don't give you guys wrong info. Yeah, yeah. You guys can ask my captain. Oh, no. All we know is he came and the car fell in the trunk was on. But Going. is it possible for a fire to start like that with the fumes like in a trunk like that because of the gas container? So, yeah, that's possible. That, the actual fuel container itself. Uh, somebody call it. It came as a calling. A passerby calls it in. Gotcha. The storage stuff can combust. It could combust on its own, like yeah, under heat. Yeah, how it is, depending how hot, depending what it is. Uh -huh. um, but we're not sure if it's, it's accidental, perfect, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have any info right now. We just know it was mainly in that trunk area. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, because there's a gas container in the trunk, so I, was, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it could just with a little spark, maybe with the fuse trapped in there, it could start. Yeah, the gas container is still. Oh yeah, it's not melting. I don't know. Sometimes batteries overheat those chargers. Yeah. They start fires. Yeah, I don't think it was on purpose. Usually when it's on purpose, they'll, they'll put the gas all over the whole car. Yeah. Alright, see you guys. Spontaneous combustion. What do you guys think? How do you guys think it started? Suspicious gas tank in the back. So suspicious, I guess. Maybe electrical? Uh, yeah, the other night I went to a uh, 
fire. Avenue, close to a fire. A dude's car caught on fire. I'm gonna put the video up soon. I just need to edit it. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it, the situ it could have been because the guy's car caught on fire at a gas station. And he says because uh, he was working on the fuses or something. He did something. And he was driving it, and then it just caught on fire. Where are you? Can I get on PG Tow to 345? I'll leave that drive. Phoenix 48 Tow, 345, fully no drive. 649, 76% of the I think the firefighter thought I was asking him for like an official statement. But I'm just curious, like, can it start with just the fumes? I say you have a gas container in there, you got fumes. It's in an enclosed spot. Uh, like, I don't know, something electrical could cause fumes, like say uh, the alarm goes off or something, right? It, there's some type of electrical thing in the lights. Makes a spark, something a relay, okay. something electrical. Roger, Bunker Hill, hold on and round. Suspicious and delicious. cap isn't tight enough is that just for the release of the fumes maybe that's what happened yeah that's I'm, I'm always hesitant to keep like gasoline in my cars oh cars catch on fire all the time though man. and the engine new cars 21, 21, cancel it to 126, 7, 8, 21, All right, I see. Last car I seen completely burned down was three, in, like, three, three, cancel, in one, traffic three, eight, was, eight, a, eight, was like a new truck. It was like a landscaping five, truck. Five, five, location. But it was pretty new. It was like a 2000, four, like a 2018, like an F-250 or something, one of those big trucks. Five, eight, one. 14876, you're responding with a delay. Electrical collision involving pedestrian. Respond to the Yeah, I remember for a minute there. There was like a couple weeks where there was a bunch of uh, electrical car fires. You know what it is? When it rains, bro. Remember? I remember saying like... Correction, When it rains, dude. This is my theory. This is completely made of bullshit. When it, I think when it rains, the moisture has something to do with it. Because I remember for a while there, it was like, damn, why are all these electrical, it was a Prius, Tesla, electrical car in downtown, like the Hyundai one, like all new electrical stuff, catching fire. There was that awful accident on, um, on Sunset, on Sunset Strip where that girl died. 
it was a Tesla that got into a bad crash and I don't know what it is about the way the Teslas are built the batteries or whatever but that thing burned fast and it burned the whole thing like there was nothing left of the car just just like the frames of the seat I mean I think it even burned the lady bro there was like nothing no remains in there Hey, do me a favor and uh, hit the thumbs up, please. One's requesting an additional unit and supervisor 243 West 93rd Street. Damn it. What? Gas is only 425 here? Damn, shout out to the GM Food Mart. $4.25. Am I tripping or is that a really good price? Four twenty-five. God damn it, my tank is full. Dude, I swear I've, I I filled up like for five something, dude. I don't check the gas prices really. But I know it's in the fives where, where I usually fill up. I think it's like five thirty or something. I don't check, dude. Like I know the cheaper gas stations wherever I fill up, so I know like hey, avoid the more expensive gas station, go to the cheaper one. fucking driving seven miles to save fucking 64 cents on a tank. A 425 seems like a nice price. If we can, a lot of uh, sending a lot of trucks, a lot of resources to this. Oh, I got a. I got my other phone finally. Finally set up. Runaway Juvenile 6464 Delmar Avenue, close to incident 108RD926 before being assigned outside of the division identified. Not fully set up, but I can use it for listening to the fire department scanner. Identified report going outside of the division. Without hot spotting anymore. Here, you know, we're posted. 31 Mirror, can Sepulveda and Gold. In Central Valley, Domestic Violence, Suspect 825 South Hill Street, Code 2100, RD 162. We might be between two big calls here, but they're both far away. Yeah, I'm from the same. Can you find the EMT number that's in the Large fire in the valley, Sepulveda and Gold. Where is that? And that expanded two traffic collision. Two on Roger, two three. Okay. 
I'm trying to listen to this expanded right now and see where what's happening with it. Okay. That's all the way 111. Any of our night watch detectives come in for 5858? Premise hazard. I think I'm just going to go to this fire, man. So right next to the 101. Can you get on the 101 to the valley right here? Would you want to Monica or no? On location. Fourteen eleven to pull it in north of Rose. I'm gonna go towards the valley, man. Large fire. You had me at large. It hasn't come out yet. Let's get a jump start on it. We'll get there early if it is. If it is a big fire. Thanks for asking 76 to the Respiration Center section of Lancashire, Camp Wood and Kalinga. We observed a red light on the security panel. Let's jump on it. Saw the back door open. Unknown where suspects might be. It's a fly from our complex. Uh, let's go. Old, white shirt, black hat, wearing an LA hat. 
armed with the Silver Hound install semi, suspect number two. Now send it all LAPD back. called it a large fire. All on the building, a five, approximately eight years old, with a pink orange hat. Suspect number three, all dark clothing, five, five, 150 pounds, property taken, U.S. currency, and miscellaneous alcohol. Incident 37. Incident 1849, the PR is by on from a female Hispanic age at page 10. She's by a white or blue flag. Any North Hollywood supervisor meet 15 at 863161 off to the culture. Looking off, the barrel fire will put the yellow cap station on the east oh, side. Shit. And what was the description? Right, there's going to be a male white uh, hot seat on the back. Yeah. Sand jackets, uh, brown hats, green shoes, female white hat jackets, blue jeans. That's the first thing you're requesting additional units. Trainers, stop the clock. 815 x 86 3161 Osher Drive. Motor vehicle investigation at 725 South 6 Full Street called back. Advises unable to wait for PD to re respond. We'll contact this patient in the morning on incident 5132. The suspect is no longer trying the doorknob. Now, code 2 has been 144 in RD 1533. I'm gonna go see if the fire got any bigger. It's just right now, dude, once the weather gets cold, it's Tuesday. There's way less to call us. Three, you can cancel fire. We put it on. It's, expect the winter time to be slow. 963 Roger, additionally, you know what the message would be. There'll be fires. There could be a lot more fires. Just as I said that, dude, a structure fire just popped up. 9th Street. Downtown. Got that police station. These are one East Street. Suspect with an Uber driver. Mail in a black shirt. There's a structure fire alert. Press Just because it's, when it's cold, there's all these people living on the streets. And I'm gonna just start cataloging all the fucking fires and I'm making a video, and then we can, I don't know, we could send it. Someone could send it to the fucking city and be like, "Bro, look, this is the problem of having all these people sleeping on the streets." Guy, he's still on the loose.
You know what? I think I'm gonna go to this call first. I think it's on the way. Fuck. I'm gonna go off right there. Yeah, this is right on the way to the fire. We're gonna, go. We're gonna go to this screaming woman call. This is 909 Chestnut 34B in St. Louis, Missouri. Code 3 call, it's right here to make a quick pit stop. Yeah, I'll check, I'll check on that outside fire. Rockville on 3325 East Mary 1. Sepulveda, a screaming woman. Is Sepulveda where they have all the prostitutes? Or is it Van Nuys? There's the, the there's been a ink the prostitution is back here on Sepulveda. I think it's Sepulveda. Oh, there's a helicopter up here too. A helicopter above us. Interesting. Code three. Helicopter is circling. It's right here. It's, they gotta be going to this call. Alright. We'll see what this is about. There's code three screaming women to pull me up. I think we're gonna beat the cops here right now. Five, five four, two, four, Sepulveda. And yep, helicopters right here, top right corner, helicopters in the sky. Alright, there goes the cops. Five four two four is right here. This is the address. Bottom of the helicopters are here. Yeah, they're circling. 9060, 9060, confirm your closer location is related to 10 0 1 There's already LAPD here. Yeah, you're right. 9060, Roger. 10, Twenty twenty nine. Present coming up during suspect at six seven six South Central Avenue, identified for the premise hazard. Twenty one eight eight. Apartment building, it's a Pulvita. We got a uh, helicopter and two units.
the corners in? Any wish your supervisor joins one? The corner. Uh, this is kind of a weird call for them to have a helicopter only have two, two units on the ground. This call is just a screaming woman. Could mean anything. Five, five, four, two, four, got two cops going door to door. There's a report of a screaming woman here at an apartment complex in Van Nuys. the street let's go check on that fire helicopter left I don't know I just thought because we were so close to it and this is how you get the action is you take the risk you got to get here early man the whole, the whole name of the game let's get into the scenes as they happen not after There, dude. That's where the fire is over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the fire's out, but it's right up the street, so we're gonna go check it. I'll stick around here for a second. I think it's over. Screaming woman call. Oh really? I was what's going on with Yeah, screaming woman, all of them. They brought the helicopter though, so that's why I stopped. I saw the spotlights or something, but... It was just a screaming woman call. Get over here. Cops yeah. go over here, but yeah. since they stopped the... I was going to fire, there's a fire up the way. I live on Ventura, and like, dude, I got... First day I moved in, there was like a hostage situation across the street. Dude, it was nuts, dude. They're fucking... Yeah, tanks and shit showed up. They're SWAT teams. Yeah. But, Bearcat one? Yeah. Was it by the hospital, that one? No, this is probably like two years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's shit all the time, man. Yeah. People don't know, like in the middle of the night, there's all this stuff. Yeah. You see like one or two things on yeah, the yeah, news, yeah. but like, yeah. bro, there's like 50 things that happen. Have you ever seen that Nightcrawler? Nightcrawler? What? You ever seen that movie Nightcrawler? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like me. Yeah, it's just going to say, man. Hell yeah. I'll see you later, man. All right, bro. Have a good one. Wait for a 
second. Night crawling. Should have went to 111th Street. There's a car into a front porch. Yes, Monco 3, we can say 184 with 550, identify. I don't know. We'll make our way back over to that side of the go. How many months pregnant for what? Team Dodge Two Door Francis Rodriguez Fernandez, seven six two zero Abbott Avenue, apartment two, Miami Beach, Florida. Pigeons at one nine one RD nine fifteen. Well, direct suspect male Italian in black, green sweater, green pants, no arm foul. Following the ER. Male Italian and slacks. There's a couple women in the chat. They're like, follow me. Follow me. Was it Sylvester Stallone? Male Italian and slacks by the PR reporting his last name is Balboa. Is approximately how many months pregnant is the subject? Approximately seven months. Oh. Roger. 16 A70, standby. 4249 to Boulevard. That's where the fire was. Boulevard, okay. yeah. I know that's something else. That is something else. Nothing on the Roger, 30 Roger, 141, will advise when in route. Roger. And call back our stack. Street incident 165 or 1791. Never pass the cop, I always pass the cops. Um, I mean, if they're driving slow, it's more suspicious to be like driving all slow behind them and not wanting to pass them. It's like when the cops are driving slow, I don't know. I can pass them without going more than five miles over the speed limit. Did I just go past them? Just to let them know I got nothing to hide, sir. Nine four eight five nine. Are you sir? 
Sadie B is a man. He just put that picture up to see how gullible men are. They don't gotta extend that shit. Alright, the fire was here. This is out. The one we passed, I think, is uh they ran out of a fire extinguisher powder. That reminds me, I need to buy, I haven't gone to uh, buy a fire extinguisher. Shout out to uh, the donator that bought the fire extinguisher when I used the other one on that pole. bigger one though because that one was like it it barely put out a pole like a electrical pole small little fire and it ran out right away screaming woman huh you notice that you never hear a call for a screaming man Screaming women, it's like, dude, bring the helicopters. Screaming man? It's like, yeah. Put it on my stack. I thought AI uh, stuff was going to be dumb till I actually seen it. <laughs> the news did like a little story on some AI girlfriends. I was like, oh shit. And it's like, oh yeah, the AI girlfriends would just like know you and learn you and know exactly what you want to hear, what you like. I was like, okay. They're going to be, they're going to take over. It's going to start as a joke. God, dude, I got an AI girlfriend, man. Ha ha. Ha ha. Before you know it, dude, it's gonna be that movie, Ex Machina. Like, dude, you know they have those, uh, sex dolls. Those rubber dolls have come a long way. You know they have, uh, Personalities now. You observed a white Dodge Challenger, a known license plate with a no aesthetic, heavy build, beard, wearing a dark colored shirt, tend to do a lot at him at the location. Information only at this time, 02, incident 0209 on 1755. I'm 
remember what, dude, when I first started streaming, even before I had this channel, when I had the other channel, I caught some dudes tagging right here in one of these vans, and the dude, like, flashed a gun at me. Or, he was trying to show, like, he had a gun. The old, uh, lifting up my shirt. Oh, he's far away. But. I didn't. I didn't wait around to get closer to verify. I need to come with a free fucking uh, police report. Kia should come with a pre uh, filled out okay. police report, stolen car report. Download the app. All right, we're going to go up Ventura back towards uh, Studio City and call it a night. I'm calling it at 2 a.m. if. We don't get one more one call before 2 a.m. I'm gonna call it. Call it a night. Cold Tuesday night, unless there's a big fire or something. Dude, I, don't think, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Henry Timothy 525820 South Normandy Avenue, code 2, and say 171 RD513. I want to back Real doll in San Diego Rocky. is the most expensive. And those California women, dude. Am I right? Even, <laughs> even, even the fake ones are expensive, right? Am I right? That's a great name for it, real doll. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not real. I guess if you name it your real doll, it tricks your brain into thinking it's real. Avenue into 201 RD 1538. Hello, Fortune County, Kansas, Rides in Avenue 14A6, 7 in the area. Places right here that looks like this around here. Casa de Cadillac. What's in the back? Not 
The old school Cadillac. Cadillac grills. Cadillac skills. Look at the oil my Cadillac spills. Hey, those new Escalades are nice. They're just too big. I wish they had like a, a more compact Escalade. But I do like that front grill. They're just too long, bro. Or is that what the Tahoe is supposed to be? But the new Tahoe doesn't look like this in the front, does it? Dude, that thing's probably like a hundred thousand dollars. Confirming PR lives at 14600 Pit Ridge, and if so, advise the PR to step out. Electric Hummer. No, I, no thanks. I've seen that thing get burnt by the Tesla truck. truck. And a 14 man. It can get pricey. I mean, you get what you pay for. It's expensive, but it's not like too much. Although one time I think I bought one burger and I added some I don't know, cheese. Maybe something else, and it was like eleven dollars for one burger. Uh, never mind, fat burger is expensive. They have milkshakes that are, dude, I think they have milkshakes that are like over ten dollars, bro. I think they're ten ninety nine. These like vege no vegetarian trip. milkshakes or something. Just crazy. Five so guys is better. Are we still talking about uh, adult things or are we talking about hamburger still? Disappoints, dude. <laughs> Five guys, one milkshake. <laughs> Five guys, one cup. Dude, sh Shake Shack, which we just passed right here. Five, there's a Five Guys right here on the right. Shake Shack was the biggest disappointment I ever had in my life. Dude, you 
you hear about something like, oh, Shake Shack, Shake Shacks, oh, they're coming to the West Coast, they're so big and whatever, New, New Jersey. Oh, Shake Shack, so just got a $1 billion investment, they're expanding <laughs> to across the U.S., blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, Shake Shack, uh, big chain, it, it must be good. Dude, I go to the Shake Shack in uh, Santa Monica when it opened. It was like a caf school cafeteria yeah, hamburger, bro. It was garbage. It was small. It was just like a plain, it was like a Del Taco burger, bro. Like, you know the, the Del Taco hamburgers? Do they still have those? Uh, I had a friend, we used to go to Del Taco and he would order the hamburger, so... I defriended him. You don't get a hamburger from Del Taco, bro. It was too, too much of a rebel, dude. Too much of a non conformist. I had it once. It was like all right, but it was like that. That's that's the that's the Shake Shack, dude. Their shakes better be fucking incredible. But their hamburger was nothing, man. It was just like a bread. It was like there was nothing to it, man, at all. At least five guys I had that I've had that twice I think and that one was like it was really expensive. My meal. Uh, somehow I spent like twenty five dollars on one meal because I think I got a drink and a milkshake. Are you clear? I was like, dude, I'm gonna try it. You know, five guys by my house. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna get everything on the menu. I got the milkshake, soda, fries, and a burger. It was like $25. But it was good. Like, you can tell, like, oh, this is high quality. It's kind of like fat burger, but I don't know. I think the patties are thicker. Whatever happened to that place, the counter? I don't know how so, how so, so many places can make like... Wood on Westlake. Westlake, James. How so many burger places could make like bad burgers? 21, 21, come in. 21, are you clear? What? That's how we said, dude. Email. Hispanic, wearing their black raider jacket, black pants, black pants. What's on the way? I don't know. One day, if I ever get some money, dude, I think I might try opening up a late night burger spot. Hopefully, we have sufficient street vendor. Hopefully, we have I don't know why nobody does it, bro. Like, why isn't there like burger spots next to uh, the taco place? Seventy-seven, possible. Can I suspect they're now on the figure of the figure of 
Last thing three minutes ago, Florence passed Hershen, passed through her towards the right of way. Vehicle to Gray, ACB license, 7 Frank Lee employee, 216, 7 Frank Lee employee, 216. This is the driver mail, sign 45 years. 40 to 45 years old, called Grace Ray or Team. Here we the minor in the back, the female back, 9 to 10 years, white shirt and tape over mouth. So 3 and 6 years, 12 40, 12 40, 9. Grace Ray or Team. Here we for the minor in the back, list. the 7 Frank Lee employee. 216, 7 Frank Lane Boy 216, this is the driver mail, sign with 45 years, 40 to 45 years old, balls, grace, weather, and teens, here we with the minor in the back seat of mail, back, 9 to 10 years, white shirt and tape over mouth, code 3 and 6, 0, 2, 4, 5, 40, 12, 40, 9. What the fuck? That better be uh, a fake call. 7070, now it's possible to now suspect, they're now Florence and Figueroa, Florence and Figueroa, last thing three minutes ago, Florence passed. Christian past Figueroa towards Broadway vehicle to grade CB list and seven Frank William Boy two one six seven Frank William Boy two one six this is the driver mail sign forty five years forty to forty five years old balls grace winter and teens here we the minor in the back seat of mail back nine to ten years white shirt and tape over mouth code three and six zero two four five forty twelve forty nine I don't know I hope that's a fake call been to like a real kidnapping call. Uh, 246, sorry, like that's a, usually like the kidnapping calls come in and it's just like a couple fighting and they get in the fucking car blah, blah, blah. or around Figueroa there is all the pimps and the girls and shit. They move locations and yelling and shit. But an actual person, like, kidnapped against their will? <laughs> By a stranger? I've never been to one. Northbound Valley, East of Alvarado, is 8. Well, we'll see if they got the description of the car and everything. If they see that car, they're fine. Northbound They're barely going, he's, he's going to be gone. If it's real, he's gone. Country incident 252 RD 1862. Yeah, that isn't really like a LA crime or city crime there's just too many cameras you know Two one three four North Boyle Avenue check with our own I gotta go uh, do some horse trading up here check previously for PR with a gun on that suspect I'll check out the mountain view for a second you guys get a whisper sweet nothing in my oh, yeah. ear Exterior Symphonic Code 3 from Southeast Station to 11418 South Main Street. Trying to be advised, the uh, Mr. Joseph B. 1689. 6879, Roger. That seems like something like in a small town or something to do where there's like 20 miles between gas stations. Figure out. Four, I need King, and no evidence trouble. Well, that dude's not there. He was in a car, bro, by the time they get there. 1863, additional at ADW, domestic violence, suspect there now. Suspect vehicle is a brown Chevrolet Tahoe, suspect male black, 50 years, wearing a tan shirt, beige pants. Oh yeah, the kidnapping calls that do happen are that are real or like a 
custody dispute shit. Unit 2605 wants to for additional code 2 incident 255 and RD 663. It's usually kidnapping, but it's like... 14849-4979. The father taking the kid. Or mother mother taking the kid, you know, like some custody shit. Second, I will trust myself sick. 837 was 41st drive at Menlo Elementary or D396. Come in. First name 13, send it. 14, 13, roger. Enjoy the view while I, uh... 163, oh. I'm gonna check on my horse. 163, roger. Head up, father complained. 4264 Lamar Boulevard, NRD 393. Roger. We're meeting with the PR right now. Stand by. So it's going to be fine. Stand by. Do you see the PR? So I'm going to go forward. I've seen a part of the first. 6679, Roger. The PR is in apartment one. Perfect. Four fifty nine, four fifty nine. Go to one three four North Boyle Avenue. Let's go to is it two four four eight four five three? So if Cessna vehicle is a older model, silver or gray coupe, a no maker model, suspect so male, black, tall, black hooded sweatshirt, white shirt, black pants, broke into a white Kia, license seven, Union Robert John seven seven seven. Incident 260. Hollywood units 507 radio 1111 1 Burbank Boulevard incident 152 RD 1538. Trespass suspect 5617 Clump Avenue incident 201 RD 1538. Go 30 rear 10818 Hesby Street incident 256 30 1557. I want to report a theft. I want to report a theft earlier, a crime that happened to me. Oh. You want to check out the view? I went to a lit. Uh, Liquor store? Not liquor store, uh, hardware store? Because of the, um, uh, like the adaptions I'm making to my camera and all this stuff, right? And I needed a screw. You know how much the fucking uh, hardware store wanted for one screw? One screw, bro. Quarter inch coarse thread little screw like where you put a allen wrench with the head on it half inch screw seven dollars and fifty cents dude for one screw one because I think it was like chrome plated or some shit, dude. But that's the only one they had that would fit my thing, dude. Seven fifty for one fucking loose screw. Thanks, True Value, for not living up to your name, dude. That is not a True Value. So this is on Mulholland right here. I think I hear coyotes. There used to be a safe right here. Let me see if they closed it. Is this the spot? Yeah, I think they put this fencing here so people don't come hang out. Make it harder for people to hang out here. But there used to be a safe right here. Like someone broke... It looked like someone broke into a safe. And, uh... 
brought it here to break it open and dumped it and it just was there for years every time i would come up here i see the safe that's the hollywood sign right there those lights are you can kind of see it hollywood <laughs> What's weird is the Hollywood sign, there's really not many places you can see it from, dude. Like one of our most famous landmarks. I don't know where the fuck you can see the Hollywood sign from. Except when you go up Beachwood Canyon at the base of the Hollywood sign. Some people's nice ass houses up here in the hills. You gotta be careful out here. After it rains, these big ass boulders fall off of here. Here you can see some right there. Look. Once in a while they'll come and they'll mess up a car, somebody's car. I think uh, Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav, uh, he, he was in his car and he got fucked up by a big ass boulder in Malibu though. See these things, these guys fall off. Oh shit, the scanner scared me. I hear an owl. Ooh, ooh. These are falling off probably to traffic. Dude, imagine this goes through your windshield, you're dead bro. You're dead. These are killer boulders right here. If you go up that way, then you eventually get to Runyon Canyon. But there's bad service that way. Damn, it's so peaceful out here. Lee. Dude, the air is crisp and it's so peaceful out here. Dude, I'd be more scared to live up here than be scared I'll fucking live in the hood. Oh. I hear you gotta sleep with the shotgun under your fucking pillow. Roger. Any Hollywood unit 415 group 6600 Yonkin Street. Oh, we got something in Hollywood. A ruling group. Roger. Any Hollywood unit 415 group 6600 Yonkin Street. Incident 233 RD6. Let's go to this. Alright, that's enough of that. That's. A little more holding overlook action. Right there. First time, Sentinel Elementary, Pier Club Back, so 300 crews of male Hispanic, no further. Suspect three is a male black, mid 20 years, being a pearl jacket with a skateboard. Additional incident, 218. Here's your side. All right, right. The country's much better, hell no. Say that to all those missing people. They didn't go missing in the city. They're missing in the countryside. Every time they, every time they find someone with a hidden dungeon on their property. It's not, a, it's not in Inglewood. It's always way in the back roads, dude. Oh, he was a good neighbor. You know, worked on his truck. He worked on his truck. He had a, I had a truck. He had to work down at the supermarket. 
for Maserano. I never looked, seen him as somebody that would chop up multiple bodies and have them enslaved on his property. Oh, you know, 1881 is responding to code 3 from southeast station to send speed drones 109. Okay, 29 and 0239. He's a quiet man, kept to himself. You know him and his sex slaves and his dungeon. Phone doesn't turn off, doesn't look like something. Feel like we're coming to confirm your code 6 on the back though. Uh, one time he helped me shingle my roof. HA 41 is close to the area of San Pedro and 109. 109, please. Navarro, male Hispanic, 84 years, gray, black, 510, 190, DOV of 281939, medium milk, medium complexion, uh, seen on 12 5, 2023 at 1420 hours, wearing a large black and white beanie, a white, blue, gray flannel, light blue faded jeans, subject is diagnosed with dementia. Any information, contact DSPD missing persons, incident 4697. I know how to survive in the city, dude. Out in the countryside, oh, you have to turn into like Rambo to survive out there and shit. 92 additional on the former line up route 132 North Alvarado Street. The suspect broke the window to the front door and was unable to get inside. This he was hiding in the back bedroom, and the suspect is now. Hey man, you want to go get a Slurpee? Yeah. The owner's roommate are now hiding in the back. Bring the shotgun. this yucca street okay. 5 11 repeat only let's just say a viewer invited me over for dinner oh yeah it's close four on the coast invited me over to uh information only 1841 1841 repeat of vermont and something or somewhere way out in the countryside for a little dinner, dude. Uh, I'm going to Vermont. Vermont and Florence, dude. Judging L uh, LA by the movies, and staging, uh, I'm judging the country uh, by the movies. Uh, hey, this woman's gorgeous over here. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, on foot on 109th Street towards the field of Lock High School on the location of the suspects. There's no closing description for the victim. Yucca. What can I get the mark for? A10120. 
Southeast Phoenix, we're going to intersect there now, 767 West Imperial Highway, 767 West Imperial Highway. Second information, suspect uh, male black 18 years, broke into the residence through a window, is now breaking items. There's a uh, female inside the location. It's code 3, incident 271 or 8241. Southeast Town, identify. This will be able to handle the calls and respect. 649, roger. Unit going contact with 5U3, identify. 5W110. 5W110, roger. Patrol 18, you're good to 9, and rescue 892 on scene at 1200 West National Boulevard for assault. So you have a unit on scene, uh, is it clear for LAD? National and parks are big enough. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. You know how many people go missing uh, in national parks? Anything to the rear? We're to the front, so if they want to come over to the front and open the door. I ain't going on National Park. I seen this guy earlier today. This hoodie. Do the Lakers win today? Roger, 15 minute ETA. 14 13. Show me code 6 uh, on A73's call. And uh, I'll stabilize this with the RA. Let's open this light. 14 13, code 6, National Sepulveda, FD, the units, code 6. Uh, hello, lights. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm going to monitor for an open mic. That's on 18, George X ray, 801. I'm going to mark location to the code three that's pending. Oh, you know, 18841, just bombing code three from San Pedro on the 109th to 727 West Imperial. Code three, just to my left. 1723, Roger. 18 George X-ray 01. What's up with this light? 801. We're gonna have to run this light. Is this helicopter going to Yucca Street? Okay. It looks like it might be. Damn, I forgot what the numbers on Yucca Street are. That's what I'm trying to look up right now. Yucca Street is to the left. It's suspect number one, no white, number two, is the middle five, five shorts. Our comments for our health and safety, it's got two, it's been two, seven, seven, or eight, twenty, fifty five. What's up with this light? Right. Look at the number of those, so thank you, eh? Any day now. 309 South Alexandria, number 103. There we go. Come on, Roger. 275, come in. There's a helicopter just cruising around, wasting fuel. 1841, scope 6727, West Imperial Highway. 18841, BCC updated PR information on incident 264. Phone contact for me. This right here is, uh, this is a heroin 7-Eleven right here. They play classical music all out here to get people to go away. But I think it backfired on them because, like, most of these people don't do meth. Some do, but most of the people that hang out here, they do heroin. So they're always just crashed out, nodded out there, enjoying classical music. Oh, look, this guy's tensing for the holiday spirit. Dude. Should go sing him a Christmas carol, dude. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Something. Slay. Something over a oh, purse and a woman. I went to that one. Or recently. I want to say, want to say about six months ago, you someone was shot there too. Yucca Street. Oh, are these the guys? I think this is it. these guys. 1841, Roger. I'm raising a ruckus. Dude, last time I came here, there's there's some dude that lives in those apartments that always gets the cops called on him. And there was some dude like dressed to the nines, dude, dressed like a fucking pimp. Right yeah. there, but he had 
he had a body camera on him. And he's not the first dude, dude. I've seen like three dudes. One at the thrift store. I forgot where the other guy was. Somewhere in one call. And then this guy. Like civilians are starting to wear body cameras. Like the same one the cops wear. I remember the dude in the, in the thrift store. He, I was like, he was like some African dude. And I was like, what, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, but where'd you get the so body camera? And I was in, I forgot what I said. I was like, oh, cool, a body camera? How do you turn it on or something? And he was like, oh, it's on all the time. 24 hours a day, it's on recording. And then he said something about like, oh, the police are killing you. They're killing people like me. For not covid Left and right, so I got to keep it on me. Like he was scared. He was scared that the cops were gonna kill him, so he needed a body cam. I don't think the body cam is gonna stop anybody from killing you. It'll get the footage. If someone wants to get you. They're gonna get you. Oh, look at these dudes on a motorcycle. Look at this motorcycle diaries. Right now, BFME suspects are now 243 South Los Angeles Street, code 2 incident 267 and RD 135. These guys look like they're in an independent movie right here, dude. Straight up. Roger. You could film like an independent movie. Let's see, he's even well, filming himself. Let's talk from there. You have 2815 Hines Street. This is the vehicle. is a 2022 gray. Christian Sonic Ray Honda which is directed by Benicio Del Toro. Two men come to Hollywood with a dream and a drive. Wheels of Thunder. Hollywood Nights. Starring, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and some other guy. A skinny, a skinny guy. I'm not going to watch him, I don't want to be one. 8787 0167. 3510 on the Burger Corner vehicle suspect are now 243 South Los Angeles. The TR call back, the suspect is still location. Looking into other vehicles, the suspect vehicle. Is an uh, older model silver or gray coupe, no further description. Also has a broken window, incident 267. You guys, uh, everyone, has anyone ever been to the Taco Bell Cantina? If you have, how was the diarrhea? Mild, explosive, or I need I need to uh, speak to a therapist. They're on a search for Penelope Cruz. In this movie, this guy hitched a ride. These guys are from Oklahoma. They play, they, they play in a band. They have an alternative rock band. Came to chase the dream and chase a woman played by Penelope Cruz, a single mother waitress from Echo Park.
he didn't mean to lead him on. He didn't think this crazy guy in the band would go across country to come visit her all the way from Oklahoma. Hop on his friend's motorcycle. And her husband is an ex Green Beret. With a dark side, with a dark past. triangle comes together in what's the name of the movie cross country um, has, has to do something with internet dating dude okay stupid the movie <laughs> Notice how all the actors that come to my mind, dude, all these people are like 40, 50 years old. <laughs> They're like too old to play these roles. I don't know any young actors anymore. Let's see if the drive thru's open, Wendy's or something. Oh, Spoken two, six, three, RD, two, nine, nine. Oh, Dusty Roads the movie, dude. There you go. Call back. Dusty Roads the movie. They come chasing a dream and a girl, but if ends up being about a relationship to two friends. Correction Pacific Units, Smart, Jump Suicide, 905 Venice Boulevard, 905 Venice Boulevard. Subject is the PR Mel Hispanic, 36 years, blue sweater, blue sweatpants, white shoes, attempted to go south at a oncoming vehicle. Let's go through incident 287, RT 1432. Blue sweatpants, he was asking in an unknown direction, yeah, possible laceration to the safe. You know what I, forgot. what I forgot today? I forgot to clean the window. This place right here, Barry's Pizza. Oh, is it open? This used to stay open really late. I can't have pizza. I can't have pizza because of the tomato sauce. My acid reflux been acting up a little bit. So, uh, 170 water, 11, Adam, 25, 10, lane. And by a little bit, I mean like a lot of it. It's not like burning, but it feels like there's like air trapped in my chest. But uh, kind of like eating hot soups makes it go away. Let me go see if they still have how much it is. Last time, this place they used to have a place that opened at, I mean, they closed at four four in the morning on Santa Monica and Sepulveda. It was the same spot, but they had this pizza I always wanted to try. It's like lobster and shrimp pizza. This is pre inflation prices, pre pandemic prices. It was like thirty dollars, dude. For a small pizza, so I'm going to go see what the prices have gone up to. I'm going to guess it's like 45 bucks. Hold on, we got, some, we got some shady looking motherfuckers over here. Where are you in the hole? 
handle the time dial code to 415 and 2230 West 6th Street. Code to 254 RD 245. Right brain in the handle. Right. Go. 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 Go.
ten dollars for a piece of bread? All right, what do we got here for sandwich? Oh, chicken pesto sandwich. Okay, let's get a little bit more reasonable over here. Eighteen bucks for caramel caramelized onions, chicken breast, sun-dried tomatoes, sliced tomatoes, provolone cheese, and pesto aioli. Salads, salad smallad. What do we have in the back, dude? Fucking. What is this? Anti pasta catering. Well, they do catering. Serves twenty people. I just looked at these prices, dude. It says one sixty, one seventy five. I'm like, bro, what the fuck do they serve? That's a hundred and seventy five dollar. Uh, how big? Twelve inches? What? Oh, that's a tiny little pizza, dude. Twelve inches, like a personal pizza, bro. That's twenty bucks. Nineteen dollars is the cheapest small little twelve-inch pizza. So pretty much every pizza here is like it's forty bucks. There's thirty-nine dollars. Damn, dude. Dudes ain't fucking around with their prices, huh? Dude, that means if you have like a party, you have a co if you have a party or you have a family, dude, you're spending eighty dollars on two pizzas. That's just a pizza, huh? Imagine it's just like two kids and a. Right? Well, those people wouldn't come here, but they go to Papa John's or something. Fuck, dude. You spent a hundred bucks on a pizza meal for two pizzas and whatever, a salad. I've had some stuff before. It was pretty good. When it was at the other place. Alright, Melrose and Western heard a gunshot. I was about to clean my window. Let's go check this out. One gunshot possibly heard. Melrose and Western. Motion incident 303. Ooh, Chi Chi's restaurant, FC food recipe, nacho recipe. You can make easy at home. 4303, 4303, oh, sure. suspect. 8374 First Drive. It's code 271 Chi Chi's restaurant? What do you mean? It's a restaurant, but they have recipes? <laughs> oh, no. 7 Eleven Pizza. You know what? 7-Eleven pizza is uh, sometimes when it's cooked right, when I guess when it's fresh or something, it's like it's edible. It's edible. It's nothing too crazy. You know? Nothing to write home about, but it's edible. It's food. It's cheap. But sometimes I've had it where it was just awful, bro. It's, Makes me question why it's even legal to call that pizza, dude. All that 7 Eleven stuff. I've tried it all, dude. Because it looks good when it's in the little, uh, whatever. What do they call those rollers? Where all those things are rolling in them. They're like wraps, the little crunchy. What the fuck do they call them, dude? They're not taquitos. They're like. Whatever they are, dude. They're all wrapped. Breaded stuff, so like. Oh, that looks good. That's got to be good. 
and then when you get it, it's absolute garbage. Garbage. Colorado. Everything I've tried from 7-Eleven has been awful except for that pizza. On certain days, it's edible. That's it. And you gotta be really hungry. And drunk. If you're not drunk and you're really hungry, you might get 6 out of 10 stars. It's like six out of ten stars. No, no, not even six, dude. The six is too much. Five point three out of ten stars. If you're drunk, it'll go to like five point seven stars. And if you're not hungry, broad day, you actually just want you're looking forward to a good pizza pizza and it looks good. Three stars, dude. It's a big disappointment. There's a pizza spot over here that stays open late on Santa Monica by the 101. Oh, no further description. Western. 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 Um, that place has a giant pizza they sell there that's like $60, but it's giant. One time I went there to get a slice and... Um, get a slice or a whole pizza. I can't remember if they had slices. Whatever, I got something from there. And a Uber or one of those DoorDash guys showed up and someone ordered the giant pizza. I think it's 60 inches or something, dude. It's like a joke how big it is, you know? And then the dude was all mad because he was like, fuck, I can't fit it in my like pizza oven thing. And he was like, bro, how do you, you guys don't have no special thing to put it in? Oh, he was overreacting. I was like, it's not, it's not your fault. But he was like, they're not going to give me a tip. They're going to be mad. It's going to be cold when we get there. They should make a big old like oven and give it to the drivers and tell them to bring it back or something. That's the one thing that I miss the most is spaghetti. I can't have tomato sauce. I can eat like pizza here and there. I've ate like a slice. I can't do too much tomatoes. But spaghetti for sure is like the biggest thing on the list to not eat. It's all tomato sauce. I used to love making spaghetti, dude. Spaghetti with the... Dude, there's this... Uh, let's see. Vons? Whatever. I think Vons has a Safeway Select brand, right? Like their store brand? Safeway Preserve or something? Oh. I think it's Safeway Select. Right? It's like their store brand. Dude, they make a good sauce. It's called like Rose something. Like Vodka Rose Sauce. That one's good. So I would get that. You know, make spaghetti and then that sauce. And you know it's good because it's like way smaller. Like the regular pizza sauces are like five ounces, and then the the rose reserve one, it's like three ounces for the same price. I don't know what kind of quality it has. 
but what kind of ingredients? It's more expensive to make. And then I just dump like a whole thing of Parmesan cheese in there. Like when I eat spaghetti, <laughs> I sprinkle the Parmesan on top. And then I eat the spaghetti, and when there's no more Parmesan, I bathe it again in more Parmesan. It goes by layer, dude. Like a cake. And then once it dries up, more Parmesan. I always like Parmesan cheese, dude. If I have it, I'll just eat it raw. Am I the only one that does that? Tell me, tell me somebody in the chat does that too. Somebody else. Tell me that you like eating the Parmesan like just raw. Like You'll just put Parmesan in your hand. I would just put it in my hand, dude. Like, oh, Parmesan cheese, the you know, grated one. Pour it in my hand. Lick it up like a cow. Pour some more. I do like three, four pours until like my mouth gets really dry. All right, this is Melrose and Western. Gunshot call somewhere around here. Am I the only one? Twenty four seven incident four seven nine nine. A type type one. If you do that. I remember the first time I did the first time I did it in front of my girlfriend, she was like, what the fuck? Did you want to respond with them? The look of disgust on her face. I don't cancel. Okay, man. You stuck with me now. We live together now. Get used to it. Ones, ones. Alright, we got some. Yeah. Structure fire, Hollywood. Delta over the Avenue, the structure fire, split turns in three one seven on eight twenty forty five. God damn it! Out of all the calls for the address to get cut off, structure fire on Normandy. Right, well, Normandy. Street Boulevard, standby for additional code three one seven three one eight RD eighteen twenty two. Normandy and what, bro? Fuck. Alright. Okay. One, three, nine. Normandy is east. 247, Roger. Oh, yeah. Get to Normandy. Three, call, get to Normandy. This is where they did the bus the other day. E2 is still checking. Hollywood, so it's got to be somewhere right here. Number one, male black, red jacket, blue jeans, so for other. Number two, If you guys get a citizen black, alert on a structure fire on Normandy, let me know. It's somewhere around here. It hasn't come out yet from the uh, fire department. Normandy is the next major street east right here. There's some type of structure fire. We're going for a large party. To not know the numbers. Starting in seven seven other six zero four plus Ronnie Bree streams in four two RD two forty seven plus fifty man one six zero five. I guess it doesn't matter. There's really no shortcut to it. Seventy five. You got to take the street. But if it's like way down by like ten freeway or something. I don't want it to be down there. Please. Be right here, dude. It's been a slow night. So I'm glad I'm not the only weirdo, man. Shout out to all the number ones. Who who else likes Crank? Uh, type one if you're a Cranch enthusiast. I don't think that's the right word, enthusiast, but. Uh, if you like mixing your ketchup and ranch when you eat fries, cranch. Bro, is this not even a driveway? Oh, damn, dude, I need to check. 
Is that not a driveway? Oh. I bet you like a hundred cars this year have driven off of that right there. Only. That's Wait, weird. Like, Boulevard. We got no crunchers. Hey, if you haven't tried it, man, you gotta try it. Crunch, huh? Information on three twenty-four. Is it like Thousand Island? Well, Thousand Island is more like Mayo based, no? Fuck, where the, the hell is this fire? Dude? This is Normandy. Came out of Hollywood. Still hasn't come out. Maybe it's just a small outside fire that the LAPD is calling it. Let's see if I can find here a rubbish fire. Nothing on the apps. Nothing on. Uh, West. Twelve eight fifteen, twelve eight fifteen. I don't know the possible attack in progress. Fifty four seventeen and a half southwestern avenue. Five four one seven and a half southwestern avenue. Coming from the back alley in the garage. Victor's a funeral unknown. It's closer into the three twenty six hundred twelve thirteen. Oh, I don't see any smoke or nothing. It came out of Hollywood, so we're gonna go closer to Hollywood. Must be Normandy. Oh, this is an old scene? Victim is possibly a female, white, light complexion, long black hair, heavy right. set. Never mind. That's an old scene. the car we were in the valley or was it 1251 yeah it's probably when I was in the valley because they say the, the cops are going to just do my traffic control or whatever. Like eating Parmesan cheese raw. I kind of like a uh, couple noodles or uh, ramen, top ramen raw, uncooked. Type one if you like uh, uncooked top ramen. Type one if you like uncooked top ramen. Type two if you think it's disgusting. Center units edition on the GTA suspect. Suspect vehicle with an older model blue truck with a hitch. Suspect is a 2-8 green truck. No description. It's 
two if you tried it. No, no, you, it's disgusting. You're not even trying it. Maybe you tried it, it's disgusting. Or just the thought of it is disgusting. Maybe that's type two. Type one if you you like it. Let's see, disgust. Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, likes. Julius knows what's up. Two, two, all disgust. Like I don't, you don't eat the whole thing, but you chew. It's like cookie dough. Like you eat a little bit. You got someone who tell tech. Oh, shot simple. He knows what's up, dude. You get that raw top, top ramen. <laughs> so much better cooked. I don't know. I, I just kind of like it, bro. It's not like I love it or anything, but it, I don't mind eating it. Like, when I was a kid, I would eat, like, I don't know, like ha half the pack or something. Nah, not that much. I maybe eat, like, a quarter or something. Like, I taste it, like, hey, that's not that bad. I eat it again. Hey, this actually kind of good. It's crispy. I like the texture. There's a little bit of taste to it. Some salt in it. So it's like 50-50. What other weird ass shit do I eat? Yeah, did a uh, I used to eat a homemade Mexican pizza. I, I invented the original Mexican pizza. I should sue Taco Bell, but I won't. I invented it as a latchkey kid, dude. When I, when I used to be, and my sister used to stay. I must have been like eight years old or something. So, well, we'd stay home, and we had to cook for ourselves, or we didn't like like my uh, my mom left us. I'd get a tortilla. In a little mini oven, like a little toaster oven, the little ovens. 19X91 requesting two additional units for a search. 9301 Tampa I get a flour tortilla. I'd open up a tomato sauce from like a can, and then I get those cheese slices. Right? Fucking fake ass processed cheese slices you put on the burger. Tomato sauce. And then I sometimes I'd put if I was feeling really festive I'd put slices of like ham, ham or like bologna or something on it. And I put it in the little toaster and toast it. And I remember the first time I made it, I was like, "Dude, I just made a homemade pizza." <laughs> dude, I'm gonna make me one of those <laughs> one of these days, dude. I mean, it's basically a pizza. It's just a homemade pizza, bro. It's a thin pizza. I invented the thin crust Mexican pizza. Bro. Oh, yeah, it's prison, prison pizza. Yeah, man, my house was a... And man, we didn't have... We had to get creative, man. We didn't have too many options. Are we going back into L.A.? Commercial fire. We're in Hollywood right now. Firestone and Graham. Oh, that's pretty far. We'll see if this is turns out to be a fire. Try it out, man. If you got those ingredients, try it out next time, dude. Make yourself a homemade tortilla pizza. I bet if you use good ingredients, it might it'd probably be pretty good. Monterey in the Hardison Way. TC heard no further information. It's information only. It's at 339. 
Uh, just to call a commercial fire, Florence and Grant, it's way out there, like, well, not Huntington Park, way out there, Florence, Graham area, by Southgate, I think. We'll see if it turns out to be a big, I'll go, I'll go to it if it's a big fire. It just came out, but sometimes in those places those commercial places that's where you have the big ass like factory industrial fires they get out of control real quick tire plays pallet places chemical places Kind of stuff, what kind of stuff can you guys what kind of stuff can you recommend that's like easy to put together that's kind of like a rarity and you know what's really good that this uh, this lady that was a caterer that I used to work for she gave me one time and it was really good it was unexpectedly good it was uh, grapes she would get great no oh no evidence of gunshots over here too. she would get grapes uh, with cream cheese and I think she would cut the grape in half put cream cheese in the center I think they were actually rolled in cream cheese like all around it and then she would roll that in like in some type of nuts like a mixed nuts Grapes, cream cheese, and nuts. It was good. It was really good. It was surprisingly good. That and... She also gave me that candied bacon. And that was like the best thing I ever tasted in my life when she gave it to me. Dude. Candied bacon. It was like f fresh, you know, like she was cooking it. I was like, bro, what the? F I was like, how is this so good? Because she was a good, a good cook, you know. She was a professional, like caterer. Yeah, this is the stuff I gave to the Clintons when I catered. Her party and shit. Candied bacon, dude. Oh, look, super chat. Space Ghost, have a good night. Hey, chat. I'm gonna lurk mode and fall asleep. Hey, thank you very much. Space Ghost. Don't haunt us. Thank you very much for that super chat. Me, That candied bacon, though? And I remember when I had it, I was like, bro, I looked it up, and it was... You couldn't find it anywhere. And it was just... The only place that was selling it was, like, someone on, like... Oh, hold on. Back up call? No. Just one unit. 2833... Per 2090, do you require backup? Bring just an additional unit. 2033, right. no backup, just an additional unit. Just an additional unit. 2033, yeah, that candy bacon, I just found like one person selling it like on Etsy or something, like some homemade shit. And I was like, dude, why isn't this available everywhere? This is literally the best thing I ever tasted. And she told me that it just takes a really long time. Like, or she, she's like, I, it takes a, a long time to make like a little bit of bacon. You have to bake, you have to like bake it. 
But still, though. Oh, look at this dude walking around with this bat right here. Look. This dude got two weapons. Warriors. I was going to stop at the Jack in the Box. But let's wait till fucking uh, Joe DiMaggio over here. Joe DiMaggio over here. It's far away. Look. One baseball bat. I think he had a yo-yo in his hand. Uh, maybe he's just into sports and he has something else in his pocket that looked like it's a sword or something. Unless he just came back from softball practice. Southeast Supervisor respond 127 East Century Boulevard. 897 Oh no, went into a cut. Jack in the box pizza. We oh, got yeah, this dude. This dude looks like he's high as shit trying to order from the drive thru. He's gonna stare at the menu. Timberland boots, bro. This dude's dressed like Ma Deep in the 90s, bro. Yo, there's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Nowhere to hide. He's probably got his headphones on playing with shook ones. Yo, survival of the fit when you're strong, survive. We be doing this to the day we die. Survival of the fit only the strong survive. I'm strictly Tim Boots and Army certified suits. He's literally, dude, he's mob deep. Grown up. Tim Boots and Army certified camouflage backpack. You know how I know? Because I legit had that exact same outfit in high school, dude. Timberland boots and a camouflage backpack. Dude, I remember I got this Wu Tang hoodie and someone fucking stole it from me. And I found it at Ross. And it was like the sickest Wu Tang hoodie, dude. It was like cream. Cash rules everything around me. Nah, it was the color cream. It was like a fleece cream hoodie, dude. A soft with the Wu Tang logo. I was like, dude, I can't believe I found this at Ross. It was so clean, dude. And I remember when I wore it, everyone was like, bro, that's like the sick, that's the cleanest Wu-Tang hoodie, bro. Like, it was, I love that hoodie, and I wore it like four or five times. And then someone fucking stole it from me, dude. I think I know who it is, dude. So if I ever see you, dude, I'm not, I didn't forget. 
just had no evidence. Yeah, it was like soft fleece cream hoodie, dude, with the Wu Tang, but it was so soft. Rover 201456, did you have a message? Oh, dude. 93 to 38. And you know what? I actually looked up that sweater to see if I could find it. You know, I was like, dude, I bet you you could find that sweater on eBay or something. I looked it up, bro. All that old, old school Wu Tang stuff. There was like similar stuff. I couldn't find the. The fleece one, dude. It's all like four or five hundred bucks for all that vintage. We'll wear. Area supervisor. Sherman Way of Laurel Canyon. Sherman Way of Laurel Canyon. Foot pursuit. Foot pursuit. Oh yes. 1533 is in foot pursuit westbound Sherman Way from Laurel Canyon. Coast 6 trial suspect requesting backup area and a supervisor. Damn, I should have stayed in the valley. Sherman Way in Laurel Canyon. Someone armed. 13 there's more in the booking. That's we don't have any equipment. Sherman Way and Laurel Canyon. Unit at scene now. Standing by. Three door, three L ninety three L ninety two. Well, it's only thirteen minutes. Two three three three. Do you west now? One two one seventy. On Sherman Way. Fifteen eight thirty three is telling for pursuit westbound approaching the one seventy on Sherman Way. Hey, mission supervisor, me nineteen eight one to the rear one four six and four Hubbard. Seven Boy Zebra Union two six four is going to be a Redford City, and uh, stand by for a second vehicle. Yeah, should I try to get to this? Oh, ninety. Uh, just right. Thirteen minutes. This dude might be armed in Code Six Charles. Means, uh, on two toes, three. Actually, I don't know the exact meaning, but it's uh, armed. Is it I think it's someone that's suspected to be armed and dangerous. Bobby, one stand by. Third in Vermont, the right in parking lot. Vehicles a white van, seven boys, and zebra zero three nine. Have its emergency flashers on. Mail inside appears to be. Let's see what happens real quick and I'll jump on the freeway. Sounds like it's going to be a perimeter search. Now, how the fuck do you get on the road? It has sufficient units eastbound lane. Sherman Way east of the 170. Four on the back of the big company. Oh, they got him in cussed. Today. Yeah, you have two Adam 69 contact the watch commander. J69, two A69 contact the watch commander. They got him. Code 4. 6 4. Red Mercedes. It was involved in a felony hit and run approximately an hour and a half ago. Hmm. Interesting. 33 Roger. Was involved in a hit and run. Let me see. Should we go over there? Involved in a hit and run. Nah. no further. What can we see there? Just the A car that has some damage in it. Um, by the time we get over there, he's ever going to be arrested. Yeah. FB 60, 30, FB 60, your status. He just chased him down. Incident 0360 or D1395. Uh, we're going to 
have to skip that one. The one call central urgent cell traffic death. I mean, if he would have like fought the cops yeah, off, yeah. Or been something. Yeah, the father, probably 27 years, puts him to 359 RD 1952. Something. Here, 127 East Century Boulevard. Seven Roger. No news is good news. What's up, Desert Van Life? Five one, five one. You want five? Five one for GWP. Is the pressure on the wires pulled out? No, I'm yeah, they're on the ground. Messages. Five one, Roger. Seven two four five hillside, fourth floor. I got myself hungry. 231 is the best condition. 7245 Hillside Avenue on the fourth floor. Here we are, Dishani. Go to 561 North South Mendel Road. For a possible coal plate is under for your vehicle. It's 2200. Okay, just walking in the grade. middle of the road right here. Vehicle track to the area. It's closing through the 358 or the 1177. Dude, Disney's needs to get out the street, man. What's up, man? Hey, you should you should walk on the sidewalk. <laughs> You'd rather get hit by a car? <laughs> All right. He said he'd rather get hit by a car. Roger. <laughs> you said it. Wilcox and Franklin. Wilcox and Franklin, six mile black ski mask, black jacket, what? carrying a blue trash container, attempting to open business doors. Good to have sent three six thirty six thirty five. That's not code three. Wilcox. Six seven six 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 seven. Are you clear? I'm Franklin. Our vehicle right. is a gray. One mile, one point three miles. Two so the fastest route three five eight. Right to Franklin. Area one, code three from seven three six Suspect just left. Suspect on 64 towards Avalon on foot. On accident 0360. Contact 363 will handle. 2564 South Carolina Road. Go to 10358 RD 1177. Person intentionally run in front of my car commits wall. 3855 repeat your cross street to Adams. Oh man, that's. Yeah, that sucks. Three fifty five code three from Adams and Figueroa to thirty seven hundred Southwestern. Three fifty one, eleven eight fifty one, are you there? Cross your fingers for all green lights. All green lights, come on. Green lights, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Big money, big money, big money. Green lights, green lights, big money, big money. Green lights, all green lights. 366, and setting all the possible 459 suspects, Wilcox and Franklin. Let's go to incident 362, RD 635. Big money, big money, green lights. Go, go. Every green light, I should get like a cash register sound or one of those coin sounds from Super Mario Brothers. Fifteen, 
7 East Century Boulevard. It's cold, dude. Do you want to head off? Lights. Better see these motherfuckers. We got all, all green right, lights. Thank you. Oh, 87 Air 18. This guy pointing at somebody over here. 0 Southwestern. TR Combat, given a better apartment number or room number of 109. She's hearing. Are you in fighting an item? All right, it's right up ahead here. In addition to a woman screaming. Next light. It's right here. Did you guys see anybody here? What was the car they were in? Did they say they were in a car? They're just six, six guys in ski masks. Trying to rob something around here? The only thing I would think of is... Uh, There's a weed shop around here. I gotta keep my eyes peeled here. It's right around here. This is Wilcox. What's here? The cleaners? Was it a bullshit call or what? I don't see no cops here, no nothing. This dude right here pushing shit, bro. Oh, this is just some homeless dude pushing. Animal cruelty to the Joe West 23rd Street. There's a question if you can see respond back to location and attempt to call back. Pushing some car. I don't see no no ski mask. Black and white shoes. Weapon use was a 9mm handgun. Black. Like he's breaking. Cover taken was a luggage bag with miscellaneous items. JMA. This dude, I don't want to. Weapon still outstanding. I'm not sure if he looks like he Those has. Those heading northbound. This game has to go off of Pico on foot. He's not stealing anything. He wouldn't be out there. 3 It's now 40. Instant commander on into 318. It's just some dude with like a head with a beanie on. He's not stealing shit. He's going through like magazines on top of a trash can. No, six guys. He does. He does have like some type of. Uh, what do they call those? They put over your head like when you go skiing. Not a beanie, a baklava, baklava or something. Twenty forty one. Twenty forty one. You can cancel incident three zero four. Air for 15 man, appear no longer a location. We'll go into the station and make a report. The real question is where the hell are the cops? Air 18, Air 18, your ETA. Air 18 is over 127 East Century Boulevard. Company call back to find additional activations being received. Additional incident 365. Oh, that's 75 cent dude. Back around here, 6220 pounds. Nah, I was on Figueroa. I said. Alright. Here comes a patrol. Security. It has to be this dude right here. He fits it. He's got a security jacket on. I don't think he's security. He's got that ski mask shit on. I think it's just these dudes wilding out him and then this other homeless dude pushing the cart with all kinds of shit in it. This has to be it, dude. Where the fuck are the cops? It'll take this shit serious. Look, and this guy right here to the right in the crosswalk. Hearing all kinds of shit. Right, 
they're closer from the area 3700 southwest turn. And the cops nowhere to be found. And I'm gonna Roger. Because they said they were like loading trash can or something, right? So that was that blue trash can. The question is, where the fuck are the cops? Seems like a pretty serious call. Yeah, no. oh, yeah, so the weed shop is over here, but the call wasn't going to have the weed shop. Medium build, medium complexion. Lasting December 5th, 2023, at 1500 hours. Any in information contact Southwest 210 Detectives. Information on incident 378. Three, Roger. Uh, these dudes are just like, what do they call it? Scaven scavenging. Urban scavenging. 15 L20, Sherman Way, East of 173. Just like a treasure hunt. The UPS store. 890203. It's going to be for the silver Volkswagen facade license plate 8, Frank Adam Boy 056. 1873, have your rent. He's got a security Nine. jacket. I'm taking the tenant, tenant mill way, 25 years, white jacket. He's got a security jacket on to throw away the cops. Pacific New York, it's false. 4519, and I have Boulevard at this time. Information only needs to be done at this. I'm sure you want to press it, just leave it second hand citrus. I don't know. They might have they might have hopped over the in the back or something of the store and gone through some gone through some trash cans. The neighbors are probably seeing some dude in a fucking spock lava type thing. One eight three, I mean, I'd probably call the cops too if some dudes walking around with his face covered. On the bread. Hold up, what do we got? 6 out of 6 show me flying in Crow 3 Center via Coffee, or found the bread. Go for 6 out of 7, get back up, Aiden, supervisor. Oh, and following a stolen car, La Brea and Sunset. Holler at your boy. And they're coming our way? Holler at your fucking boy. The Brea going sunset. Northbound. All right, we're gonna try to cut off. Call six. On the cut three side of the vehicle. Oh, he's on the corner of the Brea sunset. In the center of the parking lot. Just pulled him over at the 7-Eleven. One of the third. Cut three. It's in three eight zero. RD five zero one. Two seven northeast corner of the Brea sunset in the 7-Eleven parking lot. From We're not too close. We're close, but not close enough to get there in time, probably. Okay, so All right, they already got him out. License plate is going to be a one five Tom zero one three two. We're missing the fucking, at least we could have got the arrest. Six days experience, one six on one five Tom zero one three two. One five Tom zero one three two. Shit, there's a cop behind me. Is it a router? Captain's approach from your spot at Harbor Station. Call 20, I call 15. 5 out 20, 5 out 50, 5 out 20, 5 out 50, Captain 318, 5 8 17, 1 handle. All units 5 8 17, just calling code 3 from Harbor Station to 127 E. Is this Correction. thing going to change or not? 1550 West 183rd Street. Actually, I think this is actually going to be one. I'm going to see if I'm lucky. 
down pink boots, walking with a black comforter and pillows, diagnosed with bipolar spiritual affective disorder, co transient 384 We have a close to EPA, we're responding from the one stand at 405. 5 8 5 one code 3 from the 1 to 10 and 405 to 1550 West 183rd. units. 5 Roger. Roger, 17835, 17835, have you arrived? Where's the 7-Eleven? 263, the PR was... Behind the tacos, Gavilan? I was trying to think, where's the 7-Eleven? Don't tell me it was those two dudes in that motorcycle from the movie earlier. Cops are leaving. Oh, the cops are leaving. Dude, I think it was that motorcycle. It was, it is them dudes. But it's not stolen. It is them dudes. I told you these guys are living a movie, man. 30 minutes Hey, they pulled you over right now, bro? Did they think your motorcycle was stolen, huh? <laughs> I seen you guys earlier rolling around and shit. Put a helmet on, bro. You all right? Van Nuys? You gotta go to the valley. Can you can you guys get on the freeway? You can get on the freeway. You take the 101 over there. Why don't you take Sepulveda if you can't get on the freeway? Oh no, that's way too far. All right, man. You guys take care. Be safe. Man, these guys are high as fuck. <laughs> or at least the guy over here walking over here was. Motorcycle Diaries. I told you these guys live in that fucking Hollywood lifestyle, dude. I knew it. Five eight fifteen cancel response to one eighty third and still is responding to the call on the Farling from Harbor Station. Supervisor. I ain't about to get no. It's going to be on uh, Westbound Broadway approaching Clark Road Drive. Let me get a backup airship with Supervisor. Okay, we got another another story. Five eight six cancel a response to one eighty third and still is responding to the call on McFarland from Harbor Station. What was that Broadway? Oh, yes, five eight six responding code three from Harbor Station to McFarland and Anaheim. Broadway and Harbor. Oh, Harbor. Request a backup airship with Supervisor. Harbor. But we're gonna be continuing. 
Approximately 80 years old, conscious breathing. I'm experiencing dizzy stuff. Over by the 110. South on Broadway, approaching uh, college. Right, I'm gonna jump on the freeway, go downtown. This is gonna be the last call we're gonna chase today. Uh, 5 to 1551. We'll see 13. if he can. Uh, this guy. Correction. RA 1550 West 183rd Street. This guy makes a run for it, gets on the freeway or something. Broadway approaching Alpine Street. Southbound Broadway approaching Alpine. Why is that guy in the street the still street. walking in the street uh, right now? Southbound Broadway on Ord Street. You just passed him? Broadway 15. That guy? Me, well, you, oh, he's he's fucking over. He's high, bro. Almost every single person you see walking the street that's not fucking... If they're not wearing a little backpack and shivering cold, like a worker would be doing. If they're just out hanging out and shit, dude, they're all on drugs, bro. Anyone you see walking on the street, dude, they're either workers or drug users. And you can spot the workers, bro. They're usually cold. A little backpack, lunch bag, and sweater, People, uniform. Broadway, passing Waiting to go, get to work and get on the bus or something. Broadway. Anybody else you see on the street? People's entering the 101 northbound on Broadway. 101 North is. Yep, coming towards us. I knew it. Alright, 101 North, that's good for this for us. Because we're about to get on the 101. Yeah, they see work over the following south. We're gonna be going over uh, 110 south. Alright. On Come on down. Is the next contestant? 525 is now all the 110 southbound from the 101. Ah oh, fuck, you got on the 110. Oh man. AW suspect, Redondo Beach, Vermont, code 2 into 387 RD 1881. 415 woman, 1151. Well, yeah, that dude in the street was like, when I told him, like, bro, you should probably just like walk on the sidewalk. Because sometimes, like, people are high as shit and they're walking in the street. If you tell them something like that, sometimes dudes will be like, oh, yeah, you're right. And they'll go. Because they're just out of their mind. This dude was like, I want to get hit by a car with a big ass smile on his face. He's definitely fucking out of it. Just following no, them, tracking them, and then, uh, 
Yeah. You probably noticed the cops behind him and he just jumped on the freeway to yeah, try one, to Roger. You know, get away. Yeah, zero, one, one, three. Hoping the cops didn't run, run his plates. Engine 395 RD 464. Currently contacting Pacific Harbor Line. Alright, we'll see if we meet this guy. He's gonna have to get off the freeway for us to catch up. Go CHP, maybe he's in route. I know 
noticed like I was like oh shit this it was one jacket that stood out as a Nike jacket and it was kind of cool but I noticed it was like bro this is dirty like this is not new I was like or uh, when I first seen it I was like damn they they just like someone dropped it dragged it on the floor and put it back up like this shit looks dirty but it kind of caught my eye and then I look at it and I'm like Traffic units, traffic collision, 2727 20, East Washington Boulevard. It's now ambulance traffic. Sound code 3 incident, 397, RD 491. Uh, let me look up that. Hey Siri, can you get directions to 2727 East Washington? This, I'd never seen a jacket like it. was a good jacket, but it was just dirty. And then when I looked for the tag, I looked, and was, there's no tag. And I was like, so I looked in the pocket. And it was looking, you know, sometimes the tags fall off. People put them in the pockets. It was a little, like, bag of heroin. Black tar. Someone on heroin probably s s left his jacket and stole a new jacket to buy, stole a new jacket to get money to buy more heroin, but he forgot his heroin in the old basket, in the old jacket. And then I just, uh, I, I took it into the cashier. I thought they are going to be all like, Oh my God! What is this? She's like, oh yeah, what'd you find? I was like, dude, there's heroin in a jacket I found. Like, here's the jacket. And they're like, yeah, okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. I just found heroin in your jacket. In your store, heroin. Overdose drug. Oh, here's the car. Like yeah, seven out of one. Call my. Oh, that's a girl. Cell phone. I have the number already. She looks like a lady. Seven eight twenty five. Go ahead. And they're like, oh, don't big deal. Six seven seven. I was like, oh, man. I was like, the girls. Like I just. I don't know what you're gonna do with them, but they look like they were. Not gonna flush it down the toilet or anything, or call the cops. Seven eight one, seven eight one, seven eight. Bottom. Six nine. Have seven eight one. My line eleven eight twenty five. I have phone number when ready. Look at all these cops here.
here. Okay, and I wish I had a still camera. There's a good picture. They might be calling the owner of the car. custody. Oh, she looked kind of cute. I have to go bail her out, you know what I'm saying? too spectacular here. End of a stolen car pursuit. See that the special lady treatment, dude, they was they took her away real quick. Like uh, the new season of Bad Girls Club.
was it, 339? I think that's going to be it for me. Oh, this new camera setup is a little... It's running Canyon. It'll help in certain situations. It's not my but... Twelve oh nine. We have the Southwest unit respond at station for follow-up This right now was shaky because uh, I had the camera connect, but if I don't connect the camera, I think I can get you guys a little bit more stability when there's time. When there's no time, dude, I gotta just jump out, and get the action. In good quality. The 384 is E1585. So it's either bad quality, a shitty zoom, and a steady shot, or good quality. Is requesting an additional unit. One, good two, quality one, and shaky. Shaky, 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 shaky. Shaky picture when moving around. At least until, like, you know, if it's something, I'll pull out the tripod. I don't it's 5858, watch 5, in the watch. Every second counts, and we're getting to this thing. 5858, Roger. 5090, disregard. 5 myself. L20 falls in route to Shimano Costco, not St. Joseph. 67 left. I'm looking into getting this camera that should be a little bit more I can still have the zoom but it'll be more stabilized I'm selling a bunch of other little knick-knack electronics I have let's see if uh, I gather up the funds to it's like 700 bucks so I don't want to buy it and it not really do that much of an improvement, you know? Because my shit has stabilization too. It's not really, it helps a little bit. I mean, I'd have to get like a shoulder mount, put it on a big old shoulder mount, put it like, that'll help. The heavier the camera, the more stable it is. Otherwise, you'd probably need like a. They have stabilizers, but it's, I'd fucking break it. A lot of times, I gotta be moving around the camera and stuff. Two four 
Sergeant Rogers. Thank you. Beginning at 3130, 1113, Sunshine Terrace. Information to 321, RB15, 96. Let's see another traffic collision on Washington Boulevard. It's by the Alley River. I mean, roommate situations do suck. They can. I only, I've only lived with people I know. Kind of, so I, I knew what they were like beforehand, so like I know. Like, uh, there's not going to be no problems. But there's some dudes that just go like from... I remember some dude was always having like roommate to roommate to roommate and just like... And I was like, dude, why don't you just move in with your girlfriend? Like, they didn't want to move in together, I guess. I was like, bro, you're getting all these weird ass fucking dudes coming in. Like, there's always problems. Like, every fucking three months, six months. I'm sure you know, it's your 415 man, 111 West 7th Street. There's now a possible AWB suspect right now, 111 West 7th Street. Suspect right in the PR and he will shoot police. No weapons were seen because of the incident. There's now a possible AWB suspect right now, 111 West 7th Street. Suspect right in the PR and Peter, he will shoot police, no weapons were seen, because we're incident, 420 RD 164. That's not, that's not nice. We're gonna go check it out. But that's not nice. What was it, 111 West 7th? 111 West 7th. I get a 2035 responding to go three from Vicarage San Pedro to 111 West 7th Street. Oh, That's downtown, right? How hard is downtown? Nine minutes? Nine minutes. Seems so much closer, dude. watching uh, hit the thumbs up if you can Woman 11514 South Central Avenue, incident 340, RD 1846. Alright, we're gonna go check this out because this guy's making some serious threats. 185, 185, this is on your 211 investigation, 701 West Caesar Chavez. PR called back. We'll be standing by at the 7-Eleven. Male, biracial, 26 years, wearing a black and purple hooded sweatshirt with a backpack, blue jeans. Suspect is the security male, Hispanic, mid-20s, all black clothing. It's additional incident 422. Biracial? 
How do you know? Six in the area of 111 West 7th Street. How do you know? What races? Well, we gotta be careful around these train tracks. It's flash holes around through. Make sure it's your question. 49874, it's fine, fine. Flash, When you get a call of a biracial person, like, what are they looking out for, dude? Asian, Asian, and Honduran? Argentinian M36. Madagascar Indians. 13, 13, you can turn that last call. 13, 13, Roger. This one, when I picture of all the ladies that watch in the chat, this is what I picture you guys. Any Santa Trina time down at 30 ring your incident 220 already 111 Century Unit time to identify. I feel like that when the notification minutes. goes out, some of you look like that. That's the look. Ooh. AXN News. AXN News is live. Port 554 She needs you to stop traffic on traffic from Washington off the shore road. 13843 Washington. Thank you, ma'am. I don't see anybody. In the oh, they're putting something in a bag. But the street is like closed and under construction.
on my way. Put them away and lock for good. It's his belongings. It's an ambulance. Let's see if this is for this guy. Might be. Oops. <laughs> Oops. My bad. <laughs> That's one way to move move a sign like that. Is the sign okay? Did I tell his boss that he was knocked over his son? I think this guy's just having like a mental episode but from from the call I said he was making some pretty serious threats.
Crab's got a little patience for this guy. <laughs> little dude is still screaming like crazy. You gotta lock the door on him. And you get a little damage to the ambulance. I think it might have just hit a little tiny bit. Ambulance pretty bulletproof. I kind of just pushed the uh, little wheel part with the wheel hub. I think it got scratched. You give a LAFD a pass because all the good work they do. This going to be interesting. Oh, no, this might get a little intense over here.
Hey, were you the security guard when that dude was on that racist shit the other day? Was that you or no? Yeah. That guy? When, okay. What was wrong? He got robbed? Yeah. The two guys yeah. Robbed. yeah they robbed. went fucking he was going on some crazy racist What's shit. Channel, Should I tell you? It's called AXN News. Um, on YouTube? Oh, yeah. A- A- AXN. AXN News? Yeah. Like action. AXN. This guy was just making threats too? Or? Yeah, he lives here too. Oh, yeah? yeah? He said he had a standoff. He had a standoff yesterday or he just bullshitting? Nah, he said, I had a standoff with police yesterday and I'll 187 anybody. Nah, but he, uh, He's mental or he does yeah, like he drugs? Nah, he was, yeah, he was drugged up. Like, yeah, shrooms, cocaine, ketamine. Oh, okay. He was saying like he was going to kill cops. And yeah, that's why I came. He said 187. He said it right now to them, bro. I mean, they could get him earlier for that. Today, earlier today, he was involved in a domestic. Oh, yeah? Fight, so, yeah, that's oh. probably the standoff that he was talking about. Oh, shit. He needs to take it easy, man. All right, man, take care of yourself. So I guess uh, he, he had some type of domestic visit earlier. That dude said he thinks it's a drug, drug field, which it does look like that. I don't like to assume on people doing drugs, but I never really say anything like, oh, this guy is on drugs or... Sometimes it's hard to tell, bro, if someone's on drugs or... There's a lot of people with mental illness out here that are like that without drugs. And then there's people with mental illness that do drugs too, bro. A lot of these people do when they get fucking... Weird, when they wild out like crazy because they already have mental illness. And then you're mixing that shit with fucking meth. Or whatever, dude. Hope. Amphetamines, coke, all the stuff that's out here. But I would say he had all the symptoms of what someone high as fuck on something looks like and acts like. You guys don't know, 187 is like uh, the code. Just the. Uh, the penal code for a murder. Like Snoop Dogg said. 187. No, what was this? Dude, what was the name of this? No, that was Murder Was the Case. Murder Was the Case that they gave me. So I'm hauling 187 with my gat in your mouth, fool. So for him to say that shit in front of the cops, they're not going to say nothing, but I don't know. I guess they can take it as a threat. tonight 
And now that we're going into winter, I think that there's going to be more slow nights. Especially during the week. We'll see, dude. I might have to go to only weekend duties. setting up for breakfast dude what about farmer boys I think that place stays open late insert an ad here so I can pay for my burrito right now you can insert ads on YouTube I don't know if it's really worth it we'll find out because you're about to get I don't think everyone gets the ads, like, I don't really know how the YouTube ads work. I think if you get one on the way in, like if you get a YouTube ad on the way, ad in the way in, you get out, like, it won't, it won't send those people an ad later. I gotta look into the the settings and Thank you. 
three and twenty XL three are in route. I was thinking about going to this, but I think it's over anyways. There's no way to go. Well, you could buy that. I forgot what YouTube just did to like get around the ad blockers. But I heard they did something. Or you get the premium. I think there's no ads. But I think pretty much YouTube has ads. Even like when I wouldn't turn the ads on on the streams or anything like. YouTube was still pushing ads. That's why I wouldn't turn them on because I'm like. Why have the ads there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather not put an ad in there for fucking three dollars or whatever to have ads because it, it doesn't really bring in much money. And have it like ruin the the experience, you know? Yeah, there's no tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, uh, we might be back out tomorrow night. I mean, the ads are annoying, but hey, man, you know what's more annoying? Losing, losing money every night. Every night you go out.
her soon. I don't know, there could be a fake one out there too, dude. If it's Marcel in the helicopter, dude, oh. I was going to say, shine, shine the light on me or something. Point a laser at me from the helicopter so I know it's you. Oh, sorry. Had a PayPal. Sorry, man. My other phone. The phone where I'm reading the chat is off. I didn't reconnect it. I can only because when I read it off the phone that I'm streaming from, it's like I only get like two messages at a time. The last two messages and then they disappear. All right, we're gonna go down 54th in Maine where they're looking for this guy. Again, I don't know. I could. I was having trouble logging into my PayPal. I missed one from Tricky. <laughs> from Tricky Ricky the other day, dude. How do I miss this? Alright, this is a PayPal message from the other night when that dude went on his racist rampage. Wait, racist rant. It says, as a 
Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't say this. Never mind. <laughs> I got it, though. Uh, maybe this is a private message, you know. Uh, thank you, though, Ricky, for the other night's PayPal. And Phrase, dude, thank Phrase. Good morning for your burrito from Team KK and me. Sorry, I'm broke. Hey, thanks, Phrase. Speaking of Team KK, dude, I haven't seen him in a minute. And who was this? Was it Lola? So I hope you what you do because we, we love what you do from Lola. Hey, thank you very much. Lola and Fraser. Raising hell with the razor. Coming through like your neighborhood Spider Man. Hey, thank you guys. Alright, we're on 43rd. So we just gotta get over to Maine right now. I think they're doing a search in the neighborhood. Hey Marcel, are you actually in the... Are you working right now? these perimeter calls I don't really like to go to once they're already like in the neighborhood I should because a lot of people like people love to see helicopters helicopters flying around and cops standing around It's like, dude, once it's 
taped off in your way back in Sydney. The, the chances of seeing anything is pretty tough. If we're lucky, we might see the guy, we might see the guy get a, taken to the police car. If we're at the right place, at the right time. And sometimes that's like uh, four hours later. Traffic collision on Harry Bridges Boulevard. Harry Bridges, I thought it was the actual bridge. Fourth and Main. I'll drive around these other streets. It looks like uh, nothing here. Let's see if we can. That was that stolen car that they dumped somewhere here. Was 54th and Main, right? the shifts in the air. Dude, how 
long can you be up in the well, helicopter? Well, that evening and then by then. Dude, I, I don't think I could do more than like. I don't know. 30, min 30 minutes max. After 30 minutes, you know, I'm, having, I'm gonna start having panic attacks. I'll at least start getting all restless, dude. Oh, dude, fuck, I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. I'm getting hot. Yeah, I'm gonna start having panic attacks. I need to, I need to stretch. One of these days, I'm, a, I'm gonna get one of those sunset tour helicopter tours and try to stream it. I don't know. I think I can only do one of those short ones. It's like 40, 40 minutes from like downtown to the beach, and then they come back. Oops. I didn't even see that red arrow there. Alright man, I think I'm gonna end it. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I would say I'm dehydrated, but I've been drinking water. I think I'm just tired. Helicopter's not my thing, boat's not my thing. I'll take a I'll take a boat to Catalina Island, but that's about it.
to go check out some dude banging on someone's door. Is it, only because this is like right next to us. That's an MLK. You might see some dude get fucking shot by a homeowner right now. A resident. Radio check not clear. Radio check. I just get claustrophobic, dude. So on a boat, I would have to. Radio the Catalina check. Island boat, that's like the smallest boat I can get on, dude. I forgot how long it took to get over there, dude. Like 40 minutes, 30 minutes or something? Seven hundred. They're taking it twice. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. The first time was like 30 years ago, and the time after that was like 20 years ago. I can't remember. But I remember it was cool enough that I brought a, we brought our bikes to Catalina Island. And you could walk around. What is this, dude? Is this a horse trailer? Movie studio trailers. We live in New Orleans. So you just like kind of check out the view. Library up. Look around, go to the other side of the boat, check out the view from over there. Check that also. Look at the water. Eat a bag of, eat a bag of chips. Have a little conversation, and then you're like, oh, look, you can see the island already. It's over right when you start getting restless. Or, uh, the, uh, the ones for freeway. Did I hear fire? Rogers, probably a figure of somewhere out of uh, the ones for freeway. Oh, I couldn't understand what that was. It is probably a figure of under the 110 freeway. This is, we just passed the address where... 71, go ahead. Roger, the PR additionally stated that the uh, Uber driver generated the call approximately at 217. Uh, some dude's in, I think someone is trying to knock on someone's front door. Uh -huh. Possibly break in. Check 1008 South San Pedro Street. No, not come in. Ready to go. Oh, night is a cutting occurred in the LA Live area. Yeah. Oh, we got a Newton. Take a roll out of one ten three way. Are you right here? One ten or the left side? I think someone got stabbed by uh, 13, 13, are you Staples in the third Center. Down? Next. 1275 Millennia Drive, plus 2704, so it's already 1464, Pacific Handle Identify. Alright, I don't see no burglar here. Nothing fishy around here. Some dude pounding on some guy's door or some shit. Hey, Sasha, can I run away to an investigation at 1537 West 49th Street and 366 Victory Child Drive? So now you're out on 703. Yeah, I remember when I used to read uh, meters for the gas company. I would go to these areas around here, around the where the sports arena used to be, the Coliseum. Uh, the driver does not appear to be hurt, and uh, CSP is on the scene. 
and there would be dudes like okay. drinking eight in the morning dude like right when I woke up when I you know I'd go in at seven I think yeah I'd wake up like at six something I remember like 6 15 then I get to work at seven then we have a little meeting and then usually by eight o'clock I was already like at my first stop wherever I was gonna work that day and I remember the first thing in the morning dude I pull up and I'm like Hey, I, got, I need to read the meter, blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, and there'll just be dudes, like, on the porch, just hanging out, drinking. Like, they've been drinking all night, 24 hours a day. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, fucking noon time. There were certain areas where you would go and there'd just be like, dude, like gang, you know, gangs hanging out. Just doing nothing, bro. Just pretty much just drinking and smoking weed and rolling dice. Social 911 abuser and will discharge the PR if she walks out of the shelter. Just and hanging out all day and then just being paranoid. Oh, this is this is where the dude uh, got hit right here. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a breakfast from here. Call it a night. Have you guys seen that uh, video where the cop car ran over that guy? It was right here. I read in the article that the the cop car said that the steering just like it just uh, had some type of fear mechanical failures well one fucking uh, news article reported the cop said that the steering just kind of like locked up and he ran over that dude right there yeah. I mean that dude was definitely messed up when he was trying to toughen it out, I was like, all right, you can tell he was hurt. Like, you can tell he wasn't faking it, but he was, I guess he didn't want to get to the hospital bill or something. Which I get it. But the master's like, bro, you, bro, they're going to fucking pay. It's LAPD. They got insurance. Look, you're just walking down the street. You got ran over. Like, And then when I seen the surveillance, I'm like, what the fuck? I thought it was like, okay, you got hit and he got fell over or something. Bro, he was like pinned under the car. A couple thousand pounds throws you into a glass wall. And that probably helped that it was glass and he was able to like uh, have a little room, like push back. Oh fuck, I missed, dude, I missed the drive through speaker. Oh fuck. Did I just run over? Curb. Damn, this place is fucking weird. Oh, there's a little curb right there. That's a weird spot for a curb. Uh, that's when you're all fucking tired, man. I don't know, this is like a hood restaurant, so it's not like they have a, a designated drive through speaker. With the menu, dude, they have like. Oh, I got lost in the menu. There's like 500 things plastered on the wall. Oh, they got pizza here too. He's not getting 30 million dollars. That's what people always think, like, oh, you're rich. Like, no, you're only entitled to, like, the damages. 
Like your okay. bills and then pain and suffering. Which, that's where the lawyer makes their money. Is like, okay, how much pain, how much suffering? How hurt are you? Like, you gotta literally have, like... You have to have broken something. Like You need to, like, have broken something and require surgery for you to, like, actually get a lot of money. Uh, they probably give them a settlement, though. I'm sure they'll negotiate something. How did I miss this curb right here? Dude, where the f There is no drive through speaker, no wonder. Oh, someone became a member? Sorry, man, I miss. Sorry, my other phone is away. Rickshaw. Hey, thank you for becoming a member, sir. Ricky Shaw. Thank you for becoming a member and an honorary gas tank hero. looks so fucking good. Look at this place, man. Look at this place. Look at this menu, bro. They got pizza? Oh my god. I... Would you guys fucking judge me if I get a pizza for breakfast? They got pizzas. Obviously, burgers. Chili burger, double bacon burger. Breakfast. And dinners, chicken dinner, carne asada dinner, fajitas, enchiladas, sope, shrimp dinner, tortas, cocktail de camarón, tostada de camarón, filet de pescado. Flautas, costillas, breakfast, fried banana breakfast, pork chops, eggs, and hash browns, and toast, oh my god, chilaquiles, steak, ran or steak ranchero, French toast and eggs, hash browns, bacon, oh god, so good, <laughs> looks so good. Oh my god. There's too many options here. Pork chops. I actually had some bacon from here the other day after. After end of the stream. Uh, the bacon was good. I think I need to get French toast and eggs. The pork chop is gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait for another no. day. What the? Can I oh, no, I made uh, French toast and eggs. Okay, how's the one day? Uh, scrambled? Okay, bacon, sausage, uh, bacon. No more bacon. No, no, okay. Yeah. So? That's all. Boulevard yes. in front of the park, 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 in front Oh. Dude, so much stuff. That dude scared me, bro. <laughs> that dude walked up to me. 
15, Roger. To take my order, bro. I thought I was getting robbed. Bro, I was like, hey, I started reaching, bro. I was like, hey, bro, get some surprises. Don't make me reach. Oh, dude, did I get a... Oh, dude, I got a super chat. Thanks to whoever sent that super chat. Let's see. Civic supervisor responded to that. Until this call, identify. I need to... Go to, my, go to my stream and read from another phone because uh, my app no longer shows the super chats. Oh, Marcel, dude, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for that super chat, man. John That's how we know it's the real Marcel, dude. Because no one with a fake Marcel account. A troll would not spend any money. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry, man, I need to get some food. I've been talking about food for like six hours. It's actually one of my problems with my eating habits is that I could go like a long time without eating, but like I have a habit of like saying right before I go to sleep eating something. I think if I could prevent myself from doing that, it basically would be like intermittent fasting. Someone asked where this is. This is uh, MLK and Normandy, I think. Yeah, but this place is a. Uh, well, it's just shit like this in the hood. But the bacon was good here the other day. And next time I'm gonna try a pizza. We're gonna be in Idaho 30. I bet you it's good. Well, I got to see behind the scenes when the, uh, the car crashed through the glass. You got to see inside. It looked pretty clean. So. I wish there was more places like this by my house, dude. There's not many places like this where you can get everything. There's a few, but their food's not that good. But they don't have this. They have like pizza and something else. And sandwiches, but this place has pizza. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chili burgers, avocado burgers, chicken breast, pork chops, hash browns. Everything, dude. Mexican food, American food, pizzas, Hawaiian food, Hawaiian pizzas, wings, ribs, chicken breast dinner, chicken fajita, Mexican burrito, American burritos, Asian burritos, wet burritos, dry burritos, Crispy on the inside, wet on the outside burritos, fajitas, flautas, tostadas, costillas, chilaquiles, shrimp basket, 
four taco special, two taquitos, camarones a la diabla, shrimp dinner, chicken breast dinner. Oh, they're numbered. There's 48. They're numbered, dude. They have a total of 48 combinations. 48 combos. Six pizzas. Or you can get a, a custom pizza with all those toppings. Cilantro's a topping, dude. That's how you know this is a fucking Mexican establishment, dude. Cilantro is a pizza topping? I never even heard of that, dude. But that actually sounds good. Look at that one, dude. Mushroom. Ooh, pepperoni and mushroom is an underrated pizza. Let me see if you want no further. Mushroom, bell pepper. Ah, uh, they don't call pineapple is called piña here, dude. You get a ham and piña pizza. They don't even call it pineapple here, bro. Let me get that ham and piña. Let me get a jamón and piña. Wings, hot wings or barbecue. Man, they got it all. I want it all. Oh, oh. So 48 combos, six different pizzas, and a uh, custom one. A super family pack. A junior family pack. A family pack. Super family pack. That's six burgers, six french fries, and six sodas for the great value of... Forty-four eighty-eight, I believe. I can't read it from here. Let's see. The actually the prices aren't okay. They're not too cheap, but they're not expensive. It's pretty much standard. I got this one the other day. I thought it was cheap. It's nine dollars and eighty-six cents, but it doesn't really have any like protein. It just has the bacon in it. So I think that's why it's cheap. You want something with some real protein, some real meat? Pork chop, thirteen, thirteen. Actually, that's not a lot. I got a pork chop, oh, pork chop meal the other day. It was like nineteen dollars somewhere at a cafe place like this. Not like at a good restaurant. This was cafe place. It was like nineteen seventy-five for a little ass salty pork chop. Oh, we got another super yeah, chat. Hey, Tweety Kid, there. thanks for the. Super chat for my breakfast dinner. This girl's probably, I think it's a girl in front. She's probably ordering, from, your ordering for the whole office. Oh man. I think
think that's why they have that little bump on the curb, that little curb. Verify See. the RA is going to main engage. What's happening on main engage? I'm not going to any call unless something major happens. I better not get a copyright strike. Can you guys hear the song that's playing in the front? I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. Oh no, changed it. Yeah, this person is pumped. I don't think this. I don't think this person in front of us. Four fifteen. Four fifteen. Come in. In front of us has actually and, uh, just. And over to the vehicle. I'm not sure if they're reporting vehicle overturned on the train tracks. Oh shit. Pacific Harbor Line and Seventh Street Garage notified. That's actually eleven. Code three seven five one four. That's way down in the harbor. Sounds like an interesting call. Vehicle rolled over on the train tracks. Yeah, I don't think this girl is a. Uh, I don't think they just woke up. I think they've been up on that. Way too early for a drive by, man. Closure units, shooting this occurred in 133 South Florida Street, 133 South Florida Street, the homeless encampment in the empty lot, two male suspects, it's code 3 incident. RD 722, Walsh Rain and Dandel identify. 133 South Florida is... Okay, thank God it's far away. Beautiful, the code 3 code identify. It's by the... 185, 185, additional on the perfect team in from 8th and Broadway, the suspect is now... By the Beverly Center? This is almost a cat in a row. It's now on Broadway approaching 9th Street. There is an L light for an explorer. He has amber patrol lights on the vehicle. 703 and 511 already one six. Oh yeah, so that I think that's why they have the little curb. So after you're in line for 35 minutes, it's hard for you to jump over that curb. You're like, all right, I'm just gonna ride it out. To get over that curb, you have to like go over at the right angle. You know, if you got a small car. Is this just one girl in front or is it? Two girls. I think they've been up partying all night, dude. It's way too early to be playing. I will survive. I think they were bumping music before it even turned 5 a.m., dude. It was technically like 4.55. We started playing 70s and 80s hits. I know it's about to be alive. Yes, Gracias. Hey, tú eres el que estabas aquí cuando chocaron? Sí, ¿verdad? No, no, no te hablaron eh, el abogado. ¿Cuál? Un, un abogado como para el video. No. ¿O no? No. Te dije a ti, ¿no? O era tu hermano, otro. Otro. Okay. ¿Para la policía o cómo? No, pues, que um, yo pensaba que a lo mejor un abogado les iban a hablar para el, si tenían el video. ¿Eh? Le dije que lo grabara en su teléfono y que le dijera que no lo tienen, pues si lo quieren para que te den. Sí. Yeah. Si no vinieron, I don't know, maybe, maybe después. Ajá. Creo que había uno que estaba grabando con la cámara. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Estaba dando vueltas. Ok, los vemos, ¿sí? Eh? Gracias. Rochester, we're uh, at altitude and we're going to have a couple of locations. Uh, not 
with that guy. I was unable to get to obtain a suspect description. Only received two male transients. I thought that was the... And a homeless it looks, looks like him. It wasn't him. It might have been his brother. We want to know. Can you tell to my location? Street. There's a dispute and a homeless encampment in an empty lot. I was not able to get to obtain a suspect description. Only received two male transients into dispute and a homeless encampment in an empty lot. So just a dispute. You know, Roger. Not a shooting. We want to know. to my location. <laughs> When I was not nachos. <laughs> Street. Suspect vehicle is a 2021 white Toyota Highlander. Suspected male on the 390. Cartoon 7518 RDS. 1181. Alright, 30. 35 minutes later. Got some crispy bacon. Uh, thank you guys for donating for the food here. Roger. You should probably see what you paid for. I will say, this is one of the few times that the camera actually shows how good it looks like in real life. I don't know, I don't know if it looks better in real life or it looks better on camera. I think it might even look a little bit better on camera because the colors are brighter. That's why I like Samsung's, dude, because it, it makes the, the colors brighter. Uh, uh, can I also get a Spanish speaker to uh, date tonight? Hello, Frenchy French. Hey, all back Spanish speaking unit. Respond to main engage identification. A little scrambly scram. This is the winner right there, though. I'm about to test out the French toast, see uh, what that's all about. Yeah. With that, that bacon. Oh, Shout out to Chris. Chris P. Bacon. Uh, you can show me the Central unit, Pedro Street, 06 South, 10 Pedro Street, 06 South, 10 Pedro Street, line 3rd. Central hand information, final location, the middle of the street, specific refuel, rack 35, 40 years, burgundy shirt, black pants, 13 security with a knife. Code 3 incident, 52, 2, already 157, central unit, they handle identify. Mm -hmm. Here's my kind of bacon, dude. Salty and crispy. All units, line 3, 91, close to the central station, to 5 through 6 South, 10 Pedro Street. I have syrup? I don't know. I think it does in the bag. I feel something heavy in there. It does. No, no. Oh, dude, I know they could cost somewhere. It was only 10 bucks. He only charged me 10 bucks. I knew there was a catch. Old breakfast syrup, dude. Cheap cafeteria style breakfast syrups. Usually, the good syrups they come in the plastic packet. They're the ones you squeeze.
to that homeless encampment thing? I uh, brought you that, uh, Jeep to do uh, to sneak away to our, to, uh, our location, this Jeep. So was it just a dispute, or was it really, uh... Oh, did I get an... Was it a shooting or a dispute? Gas from Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Thank you very much. I just got that. PayPal. Thank you, baby Ruth. Um, oh, you're well. I'm well. I shouldn't be eating this. Because I've actually had acid reflux problems lately, but I think it's because I've eat stuff with onions I had an animal style burger with onions and then I forgot I ate something in a sandwich and this wrap and they had tomatoes in it and tomatoes and onions are the things I'm supposed to avoid as well as greasy foods but I eat onions here and there a little bit, they're fine, but I didn't notice the tomato will make it act up. Vehicles, uh, what do you do for both sides? Suspect 1214 from SN, CPR, get right to suspect Eler Valley Spike, late 40s, early 50s, black shirt, jeans, go to 1619. Hey, what's up, Cap? All units, three XL 97 is where we've been activated. Three XL 97, three XL 97. Phrase, send uh, money on your behalf. Hey, we just dropped off from uh, Harbor. I didn't know you guys shared a. I didn't know you guys shared a PayPal account. All units, four, four, five, six, seven, 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 Control female to meet 1829 5 South South Pedro Street. I don't have sure where I'm going to speak to. I am on medication. I'm on a Meprazole. And it has made a huge bro. This time last year, my chest was burning. I don't think, I can't even describe how bad it was. I don't even want to think about it, to be honest. Because if it happened before, it could happen again. And my fear is if I get off of the medication, then it'll start happening again. I hope not. 3XL97 is where we're going to be at. 3XL97, 3XL97. Wait, I hope not. But I'm really happy that the medication is available. I'm grateful that the medication worked. Because all the diet change, all that shit, dude, like six months, it didn't do anything. Eating nothing but like vegetables and plain. White rice, vegetables, and water. And chicken. That's pretty much all I ate for like six months. Dude. Chicken, rice, vegetables, some fruit.
transmission is domestic violence, parking 28 Palm Swallow Avenue, to go 2035 RD 319. Go 2, incident 526, RD 519. Again, RAX 1 male, 27 years old, conscious of being, for cruising to his arm. The surveillance were uh, two minutes out. Because also early on I tried the other stuff. I was like on two other things. Car making the left on the target location street. It didn't work. Alright, all. let's see one of the arms to place. I think it was a a combination of I had COVID. I can't say which what it was, but I had COVID and anti. I had antibiotics for like a tooth thing and COVID like in the, in the same fucking uh, just like in the same week, days apart. Like I, I got over. I can't remember if I had COVID first or if I had antibiotics and then I caught COVID. Within a couple days, but I do remember what like just like after I felt good. It was after after I got over. I'm like, okay, I got over COVID. I feel great. You know, that wasn't that bad. This time I'm in the clear. Right, wasn't that bad. It was mild. Feeling great. Got rid of my toothache. And then, like, fucking a day, two days later, my chest is just burning on fire, dude. 31, traffic, working under McCollum Street, go to and 11, Antibiotics fuck up the. It messes up your gut, bro. Everything I read, I was like, oh, that's what it was. COVID might have something to do with it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was more of the antibiotics. And I finally got some sauerkraut. I went to Trader Joe's and they had sauerkraut. And it's actually pretty good. I thought it was going to be impossible to eat it. But it doesn't taste bad at all. It's salty. But I feel like I can, I don't know, I'm going to have to look up what I can eat with sauerkraut. I feel like it'd be a good topic for certain things. But I've been taking all these probiotics. I've been drinking kefir. I've been eating all this probiotic stuff. The only thing I haven't added was um, sauerkraut to my diet. I take a probiotic, you know, those shots, like those Yakult shots every day. <clears throat> take probiotic supplement. I try to eat yogurt, have kefir. Shove in all this over in color and move in the hitter run. And now, hopefully, the sauerkraut. And I hope that's what it was. It just I need some better probiotics back to my stomach because I'm pretty sure the antibiotics destroyed something. Destroyed something in there. Stolen on 18 Ida Young, 857, 18 Ida Young, 857, shoving Paula Silver and Color, involving a hit and run. There's information broadcast being put out on Citywide Tech 4. If you can keep that channel clear for the uh, Operation County San Pedro. Clear on the announcement. 
Mm. Maybe it was, um... Maybe it's long COVID. I don't know. Dude, when I went to the specialist, I'm going to get scoped in the next probably two weeks. So. I tried to tell you guys before I go, but if you never hear from me again, I died. If you don't hear from me for like a couple days or a week, I'm getting scoped. But the dude was so fucking dismissive. I'm like, fine, it took so long to get referred to a fucking specialist. And I'm like, okay, finally, I'm going to get some fucking help, some answers from a specialist. And I was like, bro, so all this happened? Oh, yeah? How long did it happen? Well, I felt like I was dying. I went to the emergency room. I was suffering, man. I couldn't take it. I was suffering the worst suffering. I wouldn't wish this on the worst person in the world. I wouldn't even wish this on the devil, doctor. Oh, yeah? Uh, so, sir, uh, uh, yes, I had COVID. I had this. Oh, you did? The only thing he said was like, oh, yeah, it, it looks like you're having some sensitivity in your, uh, like in your exhaust what? Esophagus. Might be having extra sensitivity. It might have something to do with COVID. We don't know. But that's what viruses do. It causes, you know, it does funny things. Viruses do funny things. <laughs> some shit like that, bro. I was like, huh? He's like, yeah, so uh, is the medicine working? I was like, kind of. I've seen improvements, and then it, at the end of the, the whole thing, it was just like, I was like, there's nothing else. He's like, we can double your dosage. That was the whole thing. He's like, like, there's nothing else. Like, there's no other medic. I've been on this medication for a couple months. And I don't know if it's gotten better just from healing or what. And he's like, no, that's all. You know, for this, it's just pretty standard. You fucking. Uh, you, you have an acid reflux like this you just suppress reflux like that's the standard medication for it that's pretty much all we have <laughs> I wasn't very optimistic after leaving and then he's like we'll schedule the scope and then we'll go from there and that was like fucking about five months ago Oh my god, dude, five months ago, I better not have cancer, dude, I'll be dead in five months. I don't know, see if you don't hear from me for a while, too, I might, I might be dying. Something that should have been diagnosed, like, five months ago. All units, 161, units, 9, close, 3, but eventually it did start getting better with the double dosage, and, I don't know, I think just time... Time heals. In favor, would you talk to her? Find out who else is in there. If not, we're going to send this dude back in there to wake everybody up. There might be some more people in there. Mm -hmm. Where The homeless encampment okay. shooting. Uh, have to of the door. Okay. Rampart unit, Boston Road, four five nine half row, one two three John Ingraham Street, twelve thirty Ingraham Street, on the seventh floor, apartment seven nineteen. Suspects are approximately four male Hispanics and four female Hispanics. One male Hispanic is six one two heavy bill wearing a yellow hat in New Jersey. 
Oh, here's what I wanted to show you guys. So this is going to be a homeless... These people are pissed right here. The people in the neighborhood are pissed because this is kind of... Like a, I don't think you want close to the area. The rich area? Well, yeah. Close to the area, one, one, it's one, not one, a rich three. area. Rich, rich. Really, really rich. His name is but if you were to try to buy a home at today's prices, you'd have to be pretty rich to afford a home in this area. But a lot of people that live here are just like a little above middle class area. Blessing the parking lot. Middle class to upper middle class. Well, there's a parking lot right here. These are city parking lots. Pay stations. They're going to put like some pretty big homeless shelter right here. Ingram Street, Ingram Street, 3342, and RD257. And people are they're going ape shit. Like, fuck no, not here. This is it. They're like, yeah. We wanted them out of here, but not here. We want them off the streets, but they really want to say is we want them out of our neighborhood. 51, stationary at Eastbound 6th Street. And spring, close to the incident, 544 and RD 153. Country and Tandler, So I don't think this, the guy that lives right here is probably not going to be too happy. Avenue at the business at 545. This is it. There's going to be a future shelter. Just par parking lot, I think, is owned by the city, so that's one of the spots they can build it. Radio call with the bus, supposed to be the mail with a gun. Are you going to tell the possible property and help for all at 1230? He believes the suspects are gang members, unknown if weapons, additional incident 542. Also, up ahead. This building is like, I don't know if it's... Well, there's a couple government things here. I think there used to be like a... Some type of county thing right here to the right, but they might have torn it down to replace it with this building unless they remodeled it. I remember coming here... Oh, damn. With a friend, like not a girlfriend, but a friend that's a girl for um, Damn, what was it for? for unemployment or something? There's like an unemployment office, that was there. some type of city thing or county. There's also this building right here to the left. I don't know if it's social security or social um, services. And traffic so I think that's why they're trying to put it close to here because all the government stuff is here. That one right there, I think, is social security. Um, some type of county health stuff. Four Lincoln William Mary. Purchase four Lincoln William Robert Jones. Um, if you want to know why we have so many fucking uh, people suffering from mental health just wandering the streets it's because this is our mental health care facility here or one of them This is, I don't know, I think it's the Department of Mental Health. A little one, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe about a six story building on the street corner. Any 
reducing it mental illness occurs evil wrong this building couldn't even help like one fucking thousand of the people that actually need the help right here los angeles county department of mental health if you see up there the bar is the bars are facing inward to keep people from jumping out That's it. Hundred thousand people on the streets, and we got a six-story fucking building and fifty employees. Oh shit. And demand the operator get off the bus. There's no further information that this was an incident. Oh my god, I wish I was in downtown. Armed with a diagnosis and description. 11 GPA of Six and Spring. That's what we call for repartition. Talking about mental health. 1861 additional on your unknown trouble on the NTA bus. It's now a possible 211 GPA of Six and Spring for NTA operators. The suspect attempted to 211 the bus. He was armed with a gun, no suspect description, and demand the operator get off the bus. There's no further information, additional incident 544. And that suspect's We're name was Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Identify your 369, we are gonna be Speaking of mental health, bro, who else but anybody that's fucking out of their mind would try to steal a bus? 7148 Coldwater Canyon Avenue, post to incident 539 RD1512. Code 30 Ringer 11513 Burbank Boulevard Incident 497 RD 1535 415 Man Riverton and Van. And who else but anybody that's out of their fucking mind would not be able to steal a bus? 542 Code 30 from Rampart Station Identify Only. I mean, I think if any person with decent reasoning logic if they wanted to rob steal a bus it'd be pretty easy especially if you had a gun and you had a plan of what why you wanted to rob the bus or what you're gonna do with it unless you're fucking committing some type of movie heist There's really no good reason to steal a fucking bus. <laughs> There's only two people that can steal buses for a good reason. It's, um, terrorists and the Joker. Someone taking hostages or the Joker? The appearance possibly suffers from mental illness. Note to self, don't be a bus driver. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Bus drivers are fucking. You'd have to pay me like $200,000 a year to be a bus driver. Alright, maybe I can. I'll negotiate, dude. 125 125 dude. I gotta get three weeks vacation, full benefits. Mm -hmm. Dental, vision, 401k. Bus drivers. They put up with so much shit, dude. <laughs> Driving the bus is like the least of your fucking worries. Now we got that 
see if these guys added to their tent mansion. Oh, I think they added a other a upper wing here. They've been upgrading. It is lost traffic in at DY traffic, 46 and Avalon at the 76 gas station. So it's a vehicle that wise got us down like this. It's an super David Charles, E59, E super David Charles, E59. Charles is a female Hispanic, 19 years, white sweater, blue jeans, black shoes, passengers, male Hispanic. Go to 556, correct, 1352. This is pretty insane that this is, exists. Like, I get that there's not enough housing. That there's going to be homeless people. There has to be homeless people. And they have to find a place to, to sleep. But, like, this is crazy, bro. This is just like a shanty town. The road is now possible for a 59 Sussex. They're now in the parking garage. Just like vehicles of blue Kia Soul, unknown license. The PR is standing by in a gray Ford Lightning. It's additional incident 541. It's a straight up shanty town, bro. What is this? You know, Slab City? This is a Slab City, but like in the city. what our mental health care facility looks like. That building is probably just has the resources to help those people right there, but that's it. All across LA County, there's that little encampment times, I don't know. I don't know. A thousand? Probably at least a thousand okay, times that spread everywhere. I will say it has gotten better. 2020, 21, during COVID, every fucking underpass looked like that. Because the whole fucking city looked like that. The beaches, the underpass, boardwalk, like. Everywhere, dude. Valley, Van Nuys. There was no place that didn't have fucking encampments like that. Now those are kind of more rare. They're still around. But they've let them more. They pushed them to like more industrial areas. And there's way less people on the street. For sure. But obviously, it's still a huge problem. I mean, that's when I used to drive her when I first started doing and driving around. Like, it's the whole city, dude. Everywhere, dude. From Long Beach to fucking Simi Valley. Like, every fucking neighborhood had yeah, those encampments awesome. everywhere. And while I do probably have some of the footage on some of the streams, I wish I would have, like, actually recorded it. Because I'm hoping that shit would never get that bad again. 
And that this is just like a temporary thing. The country is going through. Well, hopefully it's not getting worse. We're in trouble if it gets worse. Let's see, four, five, and four, five in Vermont. Accident. Like what you want for your Sanderson Street, incident 527, correction 526. We're gonna have to have a few response. Yeah, I'm gonna drive over to the real. Oh, I saw you agree. Forty three, twenty minutes. Mm. Well, most of the biggest problem is mental health and drugs, bro. The number one thing they need to focus is getting people off of drugs. I don't get how that's not like. Can I have an How that's not the only thing they're talking about. Like the, the first thing that they should focus on is. Hey, we're getting people off of drugs. We're opening up these fucking rehab places. You're out on the streets. You get a warning. You get another warning. Whatever. Third time you forced to go to jail, you go to rehab. And putting people in housing, okay. It has to be some type of like rehab center, group housing. But if you don't get the people off of drugs, dude, it doesn't matter if you can put everyone in the Ritz Carlton and it's still gonna be a mess. That they have to take away the demand for the drugs. I don't know how they can do that. What they should do is build all this shit right here at the VA. Right here, dude, there's hundreds of acres of land right here. 
at the VA, dude. It's a giant fucking piece of land right here. But everyone always says that um, le legally, I think that that only belongs to the veterans and like they can't touch the land. It'd be impossible to get it done, but no, they can get it done somehow. They'll get it done when they need to get it done, I guess. They have some stuff there that's for the veterans, but they just need to expand it, bro. Like, they have everything you have here. They already have a hospital. They have um, housing. They have all these services here. The hardest part is where do you put it in the land? Right here, bro. All this shit, bro. This goes way back. You could build a whole city right here. They are building certain things, but it's just for veterans. Which is good, but it's like, they're small, bro. Whatever they put here, anything they build here needs to be fucking 15 stories higher or bigger. Room. Don't waste the fucking land building some four story building. Actually starting to remodel some of these old buildings but when I came down here during 2020 during my little tours I would do here all of this shit was abandoned there's fucking uh, government cars here bro there's like fucking a hundred of them here like no more than like five six years old just fucking covered in dust that they don't fucking use Wasting money, dude. Wasting this fucking land. And all of these, at least now they're starting to re remodel these. I don't know what they're using them for, but at least they're in use. But most of these are like, bro, the whole building, there's like four lights on in the whole fucking building, bro. They're using four offices out of whatever dude hundreds of rooms Housing, everything you would need. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. I'm building all this. But they need not. They don't need. Don't build no fucking three story things, bro.
there's a golf course back here. Back here, there's like this thing. I think, I think it's like a Japanese golf course. Japanese garden slash golf course. making improvements I'll give them that they're building stuff here dude when I came here though all of these buildings were fucking abandoned bro like 90% of the buildings no units information on these public vehicles stolen from 4460 only like this building right here was actually renovated it looks like they're renovating these Zero one four three nine union three pin number nine no suspect description or direction of travel. Information between five seventy eight RD thirteen ninety five. Right. Well, maybe they are helping. They need to do something, dude. We need all the services. Can, all the services we can get here. Like wasting all this land with empty buildings is a joke. For years, for years, all these veterans would camp outside on, what was the street on, I forgot what the name of the street is that runs on the outside. Is it San Vicente maybe, where it turns? Hundreds of tents out there, people camping there for years. It took them years to just allow them to come on the other fucking side of the fence, dude. To allow the same, only the veterans, too, but to, this whole shit is supposed to be for veterans. All these fucking acres. It took them years of those people living in fucking tents out there on the, right on the other side. And I imagine that they live there because... They would have to come here to get the services so they could be close to the services of their veterans. Years they fucking slept on the street there, bro. And then, I don't know, finally they like, okay, you guys can come and now just come over the fence and put your fucking tents on this side of the fence. Years just for that shit to happen. Just to allow them to just go on the other side of the fence. Instead of sleeping on the street, bro. Right? And then they finally put this. There's a tiny home here. Tiny home village here. Can you go through over there? I don't think you can go through, but. Back there, there's a little tiny black village. Like they built for the people after they finally let them start camping over here on this side. There's a, there was a fire, a fire there one night, and I went, and I met this dude, he gave me a good interview, but, um, I always look for him, he told me where he stays, like, he sleeps on one of these streets, 
and he said that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, he didn't want to sleep here because he knew it was going to happen. The fire was going to break out. Those tiny home things are not very like. They're kind of just put together that he was scared of that. He didn't like it, so he'd rather sleep in his tent outside than to sleep in those tiny homes. And I told him I would go back because I actually wanted to like interview, do a real good interview with him. But I've never seen him again. This is an old church right here. I think they might have used this church in the Five Walking Dead. Dead. used for like a music video famous music video and some other thing the chapel here a lot of this stuff was built like in the early 1900s that building on the other side of Wilshire there's some old buildings back here to the left there's some old buildings and treat you like trash at the VA. They made money off the land, treated us vets like we were bothering them. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. I don't think it's. Mm. I don't think it's like the people that don't care. I think it's just so fucking poorly ran. It's, I don't know, just so poorly ran. And there's no consequences if it's ran poorly, so. Why would it be ran correctly? This is the actual Black hospital right here. Black shirt, blue jeans. Take an item. I've heard both stories. I've heard people say that, you know, some people hate the VA services, some veterans. Some people say they really like this hospital. So I've heard both sides. Two, I guess it depends what your what type of services you need or what type of help you need. Contact frequency for room check one six zero seven three. On airplane, I I forgot how many acres it is. You know, I think it's like in the three hundred. 380 total acres. city is there this much land where you could actually build exactly what the city needs I mean it doesn't even have to be like fancy buildings bro if they just even in Santa Monica like the homeless shelter it's just like one of those tent shelter type places 
They could just build a bunch of those, man. One for housing, a couple other ones to store some rehab stuff. But the, this night, when I went on the tours, during COVID and all that shit was... Uh, it's closed off. Basically, these parking structures on the other side, there must have been, I don't know, dude, 100? 100 cars. Government cars, dude, like new fucking 2016 Impalas, just sitting there covered in dust, tires flat, plates expired. Oh no, they had government plates, but there was other cars that their plates were expired. Shit like this just spread over, like just a waste of fucking money, bro. Always complaining about not having money. All the parking lots on this side and on the, mostly on that side, dude, full of fucking government cars, new cars, wasted, bro, just money wasted. And then on the back side in the utility vans, they've been sitting there, dude, they're, they're wasting money, bro. I wonder if some of them, I think they got moved because they're building over there. I wonder if some of them are still there. Like there was a lot of civilian cars over there. Like the like, fucking plates expired like in 2012. Was sitting there for like 10 years. Seven and South Traffic, Traffic, QCD, I involved for us in Maine, and so turn to the 490 and So that's it. That's going to be it for my early morning wake up rant. I don't know how things work, but I think that a good idea would be to somehow be able to build a bunch of shit on that land. Have some type of fucking telethon or some shit where we're like, hey man, this shit's out of control. We need all the money we can get from people to donate. All you Hollywood motherfuckers that talk all this shit, you got all this money and put your money out. We need to raise this large amount to build these giant buildings here on the land that's already here. Here's our holding, armed with an AR-15, it's code 3 on 6 0 8 rd 1781 demonstrating a handle identify. They could at least try it. Because if they try to do it through taxes, nobody's going to want that shit. No one's going to vote for that shit. Nobody wants to pay more taxes. 99, first bag 81 from stage. <laughs> Some guy just got killed the other day right here, bro, on the off-ramp. 
I just never put the video up, but I, I came and shot it. Some dude on a, riding his low rider bike right here on the freeway exit. There's all the homeless people that live right here. Fire in the valley, Corinthia. Oh shit, the sun's coming up right here. This exit right here, this little street. I guess I can't go over there without a going all the way around, but this is the exit of the 405. And just right there before those palm trees or that like structure is. Before the palm trees, some dude got hit right there. Uh, looked like it hit and run, there was no other car there. When I got here, he was like, I don't know if he was up on his own, but he looked like he was propped up. So I was like, oh shit, he got hit, but he's gonna be all right. And then next thing you know, I turn around and they're like, putting a fucking sheet over him, dude. I thought he just got hurt. Because on that little street right here next to the freeway, there's a bunch of homeless people that live on that street. I think he might have been one of them. Thursday night instead of tomorrow night though. I gotta try to exercise tomorrow. And Wednesdays are my exercise day. It's my one day a week I exercise. And I gotta continue to list stuff. Get some money. Get some money for Christmas. As the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard. Well, there it is. That's our mental health care right there, for at least for West LA. The West Side Center. Area, area, cancer response. Go, so how is it? Part 4 and 97. That's how. Roger. That's how we're going to fix. That's how we're going to fix our problems. 25 one 10 Roger. 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 To Seven just two eight Long Beach start Boulevard. talking to people, just to get their information in the system. Information. Suspect number one is a male black. Suspect number two is a male Hispanic in a black Dodge van. What else could you do there? There's just a bunch of offices. How many patients do they actually have in there, dude? Twenty. This is that city building here, county building. I don't know what it is. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
dude I used to play basketball with told me he came there for some type of check. Where you have to go prove, prove your income or something. Low income. I don't know. There's government services, though. Maybe it's, I think it's Social Security and whatever. SSI and something else. Calling back for the Valley Ice Center with additional activations. Confirm SPD. Roger. Roger. Thank you. I'll end it with an interesting story here, dude. In the year was 1996. Me and Two or three of my friends were here. I don't think it was called a habit back then, or was it? I think it was. Best hamburger in Southern California, you say? Mm. Okay. So we come here. I think I can't remember if we took shrooms or we took acid, but we were on something. So going into this old 50s place, all right? On mind altering substances. I just remember us giggling, like we're gonna stop giggling. And I don't even think I was hungry, but I was just like, dude, we're in a restaurant. Like, you have to order food in a restaurant or else like, they're gonna know we're just high in here doing nothing and it seemed like we were sitting there for like two hours or something before we ordered something we probably were it took forever and then we remember uh, I ordered a BLT and the dude brought it a BLT and it had no bacon <laughs> it was just like lettuce and tomato in it. And I remember we, I don't know, dude, we talked about it for like 20 minutes. Like, dude, what do we do, man? <laughs> what do we do, bro? There's like no, there's no bacon in it. <laughs> I remember it being such a weird thing, dude, that there was no bacon. Like, dude, I think they're fucking with us. No, dude, something's up, man. No bacon. Something. I think at first I didn't. I didn't even know what was wrong. I was like, bro, something's wrong with my sandwich, dude. It's so small, so thin. Like, dude, that's a sandwich. <laughs> that's a sandwich, dude. What? <laughs> And I remember finally, like, we ended up telling the guy, like, we were so, like, scared to tell him. And they were like, hey, bro, just tell him something's wrong with the sandwich. And then we're like, hey, like, I think something's wrong with our sandwich. And he looked at it and he was like, oh. He looked all like, oh, he looked like he was going to, like, kick himself, you know, like, oh, my God, how the fuck did it? I don't know. I took it that he was the one that made it, but I don't know. It might have been, like him rolling his eyes like what the f what kind of idiot put no fucking bacon in the BLT like there's only three things in there and then we all had a giggle and that was it but I do remember that part I'm going to 
Street from Hubbard and San Fernando to 14060 Astoria. Are you cut down to San Fernando? Does the PR wish to be soon? Oh, you're in the scope for 2728 Long Beach, just like GOA. Never mind, I'm getting further. I've ever been there. The habit is that the one that has all the locations now? Or is that something else? Hamburger and Hamlet. I never realized that this might be the one that has all the chain locations now. Started stringing in '93. Shit. Dude, 1993. I started. Uh, my voice started cracking in '93. A little bit. Sunrise is nice in LA, dude. One of these days I'm gonna do a reverse and start start the streams like at five in the morning or something, so I can get get set up maybe at Kenneth Hong Park or actually I've tried Kenneth Hong Park. It's not there's no service up there. Best views, but bad service. I've tried streaming from there. It may have gotten better, but I used to also stream from like the Baldwin Hills Overlook. But that uh, that used to have really bad service, but now it's like it's decent. It buffers and the picture gets a little bad in certain spots, but it won't drop it. When I first started streaming, boots the stream would end like twice twice a night, three times a night. Just from going into dead spots. At least now it kind of buffers and then it'll reconnect. Sunrise is like where all the photographers go out to take pictures here. It gives the best lighting effects. Like if you just go out right now, you point and shoot your camera. The right spot, dude, it's gonna look it's gonna look good. As long as it's focused. That's about the only thing I learned from my ph one photography class I took. My teacher was like, here's a tip. Just don't waste your time shooting during the day. Just go go at sunrise and sunset and take all your pictures at sunrise and sunset. Street 310 Gothic Avenue, 
passing 12 5 23 at 2200 hours in unknown direction. Subject is a male, pressured female, Hispanic, 15 years. More comments go to us at 647 1797. X91, repeat. X91, can you have the person called the uh, Kenton is back down? No, like, it looks down. nice, but it looks the best from a high okay. vantage point. Well, from uh, the, ba the Baldwin Hills overlook over there at Kenneth Pond Park. 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 That's probably one of the best spots, Kenneth Hahn. If you go to the Baldwin Hills here, I think you're kind of covered by the Kenneth Hahn. If you look east. But if you go up to Kenneth Hahn Park, like you're an unobstructed view of like downtown and the bounces behind it. Look at the traffic coming back this way. Griffith Park? I don't know. I like Griffith Park, but I hate it because there's no service there. It's a shame that you can't do no live streams from there. I've tried. It's like completely dead at the main part, the observatory. Zero bars. And last time I tried, I was able to go up the mountain almost to the parking lot before it lost the connection. But that's about it. You would think that they would have some cell phone towers up there. The first time I went up there, I was like, oh, dude, I feel like a weirdo, like walking around with a phone and a camera and stuff. Right? Like, uh, you know, you feel awkward, bro. Like, you're walking around with the camera, you know. It brings a lot of attention to you, right? Like, who's this weirdo recording? Why is he? Right? That's how I felt the first time. When I went there, last time when I went up the road, 500, 500 people recording. Like every single person is recording everything full time. Their phones, cameras, like. Bro, there was more cameras than people up there. Fourth of July, some people get they get stuck on this on ramp on purpose so they can watch the fireworks right here. Not this on ramp, this overpass. Whatever you call it. I don't know if they do it on purpose, but people just stop. So it becomes like a parking lot. Can you see those mountains way back there?
like two little here to the right. Those are not planets. They're planes. They're plane ends. There are airplanes coming in my LAX. All right, man. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your day. And uh, I'll see you Thursday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breakfast. Thanks, everybody. Shout out Marcel. Thanks for the bacon money.